Mm-hmm. You're on. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Laser Everything. Um, we're doing surgery on the UV today, not clickbait. Uh, we did a little bit last time. If you were here with us on the last live stream, we swapped our EasyCAD 3 controller for an Easy Ta- EasyCAD 2 controller. Um, and I, I'd mostly used my old video that I made about that downgrade process as a guide to do it again. Uh, but I made a mistake. So in the old EasyCAD downgrade video, I said that the laser control, which is CON2 uh, on EasyCAD boards, three and two, uh, is just plug and play. You just unplug it from the EasyCAD three board and plug it into the EasyCAD two board and you're good to go. And that is true for fiber lasers. It's true for the analog boards. It is not true for the digital boards. On the digital boards, the pinout changes between those two boards. And uh, it took me a long time to figure that out. We did tons and tons and tons of testing. Uh, I, I ripped the controller out of the CO2 Galvo to test it to see if it was a controller issue. We ripped power supplies out. Uh, we like compared configs. I was checking my EasyCAD configuration against Kyle and Matt's to see if I had like done something wrong. Hours yesterday, maybe like eight, 10 hours we spent troubleshooting this problem and uh, we basically eliminated everything else. So there were only two possibilities. Uh, The first possibility that could be causing the issue is that our our sources are just different. Maybe my source requires something that EasyCAD 2 simply cannot uh, supply, which would be bad. That would be really bad uh, because we basically have to undo the entire upgrade and go back to three and we would just be stuck on EasyCAD 3. The other uh, potential issue would be that the pinout is different between EasyCAD 2 and EasyCAD 3 boards. And that seemed really unlikely to me at the time uh, because they're both JC, uh, BJJC Z boards. So why would that be the case? I did a little investigating and I did a bunch of research and I made a bunch of new charts and graphs and stuff. And basically we figured out that that was the issue, which Thank God, because uh, that's something fixable. We can fix that. Um, so I'm recording an episode right now that goes into detail about where the differences are and how to fix them. But uh, we're not going to get super into it today because, again, I'm recording a whole episode on it. But what I do need to do is get some B-roll so that we can use it in the episode. And then I have to actually do the fix. Uh, so I'm going to be doing it live uh, Matt suggested we just do it live. So here we are, we're doing it live. Uh, and I'm going to be stopping and gathering some B-roll footage of me doing this along the way. Uh, but I figured, you know, why not? Let's go for it. Yeah. So, I thought it'd be good to do live because people might have questions as you're going and that might be stuff yeah. that we don't even think about to put into the video because there's people yeah. like me and there's people like Alex. <laughs> like, yeah, and I may give I may give some half answers to those questions along the way, just because I'm much more eloquent on paper than I am live. So I, it, I, you've watched my scripted videos. You know how many views the uh, <laughs> Ultimate Photo Engraving Guide has, sir. Least, um, it's really good. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um, There's a bunch of stuff on my desk already, and I'll tell you what's set up right now, and I'll show you the problem that I was having so that you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, And I need to catch some B-roll of it because of all the troubleshooting we did yesterday, we didn't record anything. So I need to actually record the problem happening. So I'm going to show you guys that too. Oh, my God. No, because I I thought it would be one of the million things that we tested. You know, I don't need to make another... (laughs) video about testing power supplies. We have a 20 minute video about that. So, um, so no, I, I didn't do it. Uh, but if you do switch me to the overhead mat, then I can show you guys, uh, kind of the, the setup here really quick. So we just have soldering iron. We're going to need that, uh, many times today, bunch of wires, screwdrivers, uh, snippers, things like that. Uh, this is a benchtop power supply, uh, which we're going to turn on. It's preset to, 
uh, five volts at three amps, which is enough to power this EasyCAD light board. We've got some alligator clips running out and then just attaching to some uh, leftover power supply wire that I have laying around. There's two EasyCAD two boards here. And let me see if I can tilt this back just a little bit without messing things up so you guys can see. So inside is the one that we installed on yesterday's stream. And this one is the board uh, out of the CO2 Galvo. And the reason that there are two EasyCAD boards here is because I swore the board was the problem at one point. So we knew that the same exact board was in the CO2 Galvo. So let's try the CO2 Galvo board and see. And when they both didn't work, that's when we kind of ended up on, on pinouts. That said, it's already set up. I haven't done the teardown from doing that troubleshooting yet. So for now, just to reproduce the problem, I'm going to use this board. But these two boards are identical, and they both work fine. So I don't want to confuse people about that. Uh, we will at some point switch back to the internal board, and nothing will have changed. So uh, just want to be super clear about that. Uh, but we are powering this board um, with the bench top. So that's what this setup is. And uh, you can see if I turn the first channel on the power supply on, we will get a status indicator light here, hopefully. Yep, there it is. Uh, so we've got power to the board. We just have to turn on the rest of the machine. Uh, everything else is the way that you guys saw it last time. So we have our little five volt, three amp power supply that we scavenged from the back room. Uh, up here powering the new EasyCAD 3 board. That'll turn on, but we're not really using it right now, so that's fine. And everything else is the same. Uh, the only thing that we've really kind of dug into is this right here is the uh, D-sub connector that is marked laser control. So this connector right here is the connector that comes from where we plug it into the laser source on the other end of our... Uh, cable carrier. So trying not to lose you guys here. There's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, but right now this is a question just to put it in chat and we'll kind of answer them as we go. Yeah, this is just a, just consider this a nominal setup in a really messy exploded way so that we could troubleshoot the different parts, but there's nothing unique about this right now. This is like how we discovered the problem. This was the setup. Uh, because when we plugged the laser in yesterday, essentially what's happening, and I'll go ahead and get this turned on here. Um, essentially what's happening is when we fire the laser, it doesn't respond to any repetition rate changes. So no frequency changes. Those don't do anything. Uh, it doesn't respond to current changes. It doesn't respond to uh, pulse width changes. It just fires at like a weird minimum power. Uh, and so... I need to capture that. I need a clip of that for the final episode where I do a good job explaining all of this. So we're gonna open, I don't even know. Uh, we are running, actually, uh, the laser control isn't plugged into the back of the source. You guys can't see it, it's blocked on both sides, but uh, I never plugged, when I was doing the wire tracing, I never plugged the laser control D sub connector back into the source itself. So I'm going to just plug that in real quick and then we'll turn the laser back on. Uh, I don't remember if we left off with EasyCAD or Lightburn. It doesn't really matter. We were testing both because at one point we thought it might be a software issue. Uh, we thought maybe Lightburn was the problem and Lightburn maybe didn't support my source. And then we tried EasyCAD and then we thought, well, maybe my EasyCAD installation is the problem. So then we tried Kyle's EasyCAD UV laser installation. And at one point I even asked Matt to send me his. Uh, so we, we literally had to try everything else uh, before we could kind of come to the conclusions we came to today. So I have to check. I have to just even sit here and look and see uh, which driver is installed because I'm not entirely sure. Um, but let's get that open. I'm also going to grab an OBS screen recording to show. By the way, this it. is the source. So I kind of zoomed in to show you guys what the source looks like. So if you've ever wondered what a UV source looks like and why the box is so empty that uh, Alex has in front of him, like this is it. It's basically a few fans and the UV, like that's it. There's nothing else to do it. So that's the, that's the money right there. 
um, that he's working with and trying to get to work. And then the other thing I was going to show you guys is, let's see, what Alex is trying to mark, which is right. Let's see. What camera was it? XA. Oh, no. Ah. And so that's what Alex was, uh, that's, so this is what you got to mark yesterday, right? Yeah. So yesterday when we did a test with the easy CAD three board, I damn near put a hole in that block. I mean, you can see that is yeah considerable. Hit. Yeah. Uh, and then this was the easy CAD two side. There's, I mean, there's literally nothing there at all. Um, so there's clearly there's an issue. Yep. Oh, uh, and we'll talk about Kyle's in chat. The same Kyle's in chat. Hey, Kyle. Is he coming? I don't know. Usually a Kyle in chat is a sick Kyle. A wild Kyle has appeared. Uh, let's see. It finds where are my laser files? This is live, guys, so apologies for delays and time it takes for me to look for things. All right, I'm launching EasyCAD here. Nothing special to see. We're just going to draw a circle and try to mark it with what I know to be my max power output settings. Is that Kyle? Yep. Letting him put himself on camera. <laughs> that way he's ready when he's ready. All right. Here we go. So just going to draw a circle and hatch it. Nice tight UV hatch. Let people see you. Just a limited availability, Kyle, is all. <laughs> Kyle is Kyle was stuck. All right. So just make sure this is recording. All right, so there. I don't, can you guys see the laser spot? Uh, there, not really. Yeah, I can oh, try. Let's there. see. It's right there. Oh, and, that's it. Oh, oh damn it, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so if we hit frame, guys, or red as we know it in EasyCAD, it frames. There's a square, right? These again are what I believe to be my max power settings. We hit mark. And this is what it does, uh, which is essentially nothing. I don't know. It looks like a really well-polished piece of, you know, half inch by half inch. Yeah. <laughs> and just to reproduce that, what we can do, I'm now we're going to close EasyCAD. And we're going to install the light burn drivers. Install the laser mark control board drivers. And then we'll install the light grenades. Let's see. And so, yeah, so for those of you who were here yesterday or uh, who weren't here yesterday, uh, Alex was able to take the five volt power that you see right there. Because that's where'd you get that from? A wall clipper thing or something? Yeah, it was it's a wall power charging? supply for a USB hub. Nice. All right. So, yeah, so he was able to basically retrofit that, a.k.a. cannibalize and make what he needed work. Um, but then that's the situation we're in. And this is the box that I was trying to tell you guys to, it's like kind of, I would say empty compared to a fiber laser, you know, like that's what we're used to seeing here. And the other we, side of it that you can't see as well. As yeah. Certainly. And that's the thing. The other one, the other camera is being a little 
on the fritz there. Uh, but it's literally just like got nothing going on. So these are all the components. That's what one looks like on the inside in case you're wondering. There you go. All right, same exact settings here in Liper. We have the ready signal, and we're going to go ahead and start this mark. It does the same exact thing, which is how we ruled out uh, the software as being the issue, among other things. So there you go. Nothing special to see there either. I just wanted to be able to show that, and I needed to capture the uh, window the screen for that demonstration. So now I have that, I can stop that OBS recording. And we can shut down light burn. Stop this camera. And uh, so now we're ready to do surgery. So uh, we can go ahead and shut the laser down here. So do you want to talk to the family of the laser before you get going on your operation, doctor? Uh, no, I don't ever <laughs> want to talk to them. Okay. I am the family. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, so we'll just disconnect our little science experiment here. We don't need any of that. Mm -hmm. I will reinstall this EasyCAD board inside the CO2 Galvo after we are done. Uh, luckily, it did not take a lot of dismantling of the CO2 Galvo in order to get this board out. So I just literally need to slap it back in there and close up the case. So that should be fairly easy to take care of. So we'll just set this aside for now. We have our original controller still in here where you guys can't see it. And this is our target right here. Uh, this will actually bring Matt. I'm going to bring the XA over so you guys can kind of get a view from the other side of the table. Yep. It'll be a little easier for you guys to see. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up so you can see it easier. Here we go. Whoa. There you go. Mitch, I can't afford DoorDash. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, you can ask Alex every day. <laughs> I like sit here and I'll be like, God, I wish I could just afford the DoorDash. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean I can, but like ten dollars yeah, I'm, I'm such an old man. I'm not paying that. I could drive over for free. I'll move that out of the way too. All right, so uh we have a couple cables here. First of all, our um kind of like general input never ever left this board because this is the one that we custom wired for. Uh, conversion from EasyCAD 3. So I did the wiring myself on this. It controls the foot pedal and our rotary axis. And we know the wiring is good on that and we know it has nothing to do with our issues. So this actually has never left this board. It's just been sitting there the whole time. The other things that we have to deal with are our scanner head D sub connector right here, uh, which again, we know we're aware that that has nothing to do with this issue. Uh, the scan, scanner head's working fine. We saw it drawing the circles it was supposed to be marking. So we can just plug that back in to our board here. And uh, our USB connector, again, we're, we're talking with the computer fine. Uh, that's not an issue. So we can just go ahead and plug that in. There's my alarm to get Felix off the bus even though it's Sunday. We'll turn that off. Uh, so this is the target. This is what we're after today. And uh, here you can see it is a 25 pin connector. And uh, actually, Matt, in TMNT, I made a couple graphics to show this. Do you think you could put those on screen? I can try. Let me see. Oh, well, if I'm in the actual right like thing, yeah. So the one that we would be looking for is... Um, the EasyCAD 3. CO2 YAG laser control interface. Yes. If you open it in browser, it's yep. easier to share. I know, I know. I've done this at least once. <laughs> and this has been just the tip with Kyle. Boom. Oh. My God. There we go. I was zoomed in way too much. 
All right. Perfect. So um, I can't really see it here, but you can tell people uh, it, it. So this is, there's basically, there's two wires inside this connection that I'm holding guys. So out of this entire connector, all 25 pins, we are only using two. Uh, we're using one to send the pulse, pulse width modulation signal, uh, which currently is on pin 20. And we're using one as a reference ground that's on pin 10. Uh, so you have the one that I drew in the middle, which just shows the ones that we're concerned with today. And then the one on the right is our reference that I pulled from the EasyCAD manual. Uh, now, if you switch over to the EasyCAD light version of this, uh, which should be just like easy light or easy digital. Yeah, I got it. Laser control. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so this is not the one I meant, but this is fine too. Uh, so on the left, you can see our EasyCAD 3 pinout. Uh, the pulse width modulation is on pin 20. Uh, but on the EasyCAD light board, it's on pin 22. Uh, so we have to move it basically two spots down. So we have to unsolder that pulse width modulation line uh, from pin 20, solder it into pin 22, pack everything back up, and we should have resolved this issue uh, if I have any idea what I'm talking about at all. So if you're curious in like the kind of technical side of this, uh, that is what we're trying to accomplish right now. Is this the one uh, you were looking for, by the way? Nope, that's not the one either, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. They'll <laughs> yeah. all be in the final episode, guys. I'm making a, uh, I'm making a full episode about this uh, just to kind but of... Just let you know what he's playing with over there, yeah. Yeah, but I just want to... If you are here live and you're interested in what's happening, this is what's happening. It's very simple, kind of straightforward uh, swap we have to make. So we're just taking that pulse width modulation on pin 20, or moving it down to 22 because that's where the digital version of the EasyCAD light board is expecting that signal to uh, be sent to the laser source from. Again, this is only a problem with UV lasers and maybe CO2 Galvo lasers. I haven't done a CO2 Galvo EasyCAD 3 downgrade, so I can't confirm that. But at least as far as I've looked for UV lasers uh, that rely on pulse width modulation instead of a gate signal setup, uh, this is going to be a problem. So you can plug and play the laser control interface from EasyCAD 3 to EasyCAD 2 for fiber lasers, but you cannot do that on UV lasers. And that's the big mistake that I made a long time ago. I figured if the fiber one is plug and play, they'll all be plug and play, and that's just not true. Uh, so we're going to fix that today. So that's, uh, that is the goal, and uh, we're just going to get started. Again, I've got the camera rolling over here. We're making a full episode about this. So, um, Matt, you can kind of show whatever view you want to show. Uh, yeah, but I'm rolling on the X-75. Right yeah, that's what I got going. Yeah, so if we look here, guys, on the back of the D-sub, um, and it's not going to be the easiest to see, but you can see the real-life version of this here. Let me put this in frame. So here, uh, you can see, let me see, which way? There we go. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect right there, if I can get it to focus. Uh, so here we've got our reference ground on the left side of these pins. And then up top, we have pin 20. So we just need to move that down two pins. That's all we're doing. We're taking that wire on the right side of this connector, and we're moving it down two pins. And we should be done. Uh, after that, the source should be getting the correct pulse width modulation signal. Interestingly enough, this pin, pin 20 on EasyCAD 2 light boards is for uh, first pulse killer uses. It handles some kind of Q-switch uh, automation that I don't really understand. I'm shocked that with the laser receiving only the signal and no pulse width modulation signal that it's even firing. Uh, Frankly, I, I'm I'm surprised we're getting anything at all. It's not just refusing to uh, to fire, but uh, that is the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of set up here, and we're just going to be focused. I'll move the camera in a sec. Just going to be focused on moving that pin over. Yeah, and by the way, Kyle said if you're enjoying hanging out, Alex's soldering skills, or you just love sharing knowledge, smash the like button if you haven't. 
it Please really do. helps. And it does. It does. Yeah. I'll and zoom the 75 back out too for whatever future purpose this camera's going to hold. In fact, let me reframe that again. Sorry, guys. This is for a full episode. So we just uh, want to make sure that things are framed up nice. So we're going to take a little more time than we usually do to make sure that that's the case. There we go. That's a nice view. Look at that transition. This is such a fun thing. <laughs> so uh, the first thing we have to do is kind of like de-jacket all of this stuff. We have the little anti-snag uh, protector on here. So we got to pull that off. And we have to de-jacket all of this insulation, all this heat shrink kind of nonsense here. So let me go ahead and get that pulled off first. All right, now are you recording this? Yeah. Okay, making sure. Because we've yeah, done that I mean, before. You, <laughs> even if I'm not, like, I could download this entire live later. I'd just really rather not do that. So I'm going to try to get what I can on camera, especially because it'll look nicer, not being compressed by YouTube. All right, so we just need to now kind of figure out how this is all held together. I could just snip these wires off. I may just do that, uh, but it is kind of being held up nicely for me right now. I had a razor the other day that was nice and sharp and brand new to pull jackets off this kind of crap. I'm going to see if I can find that real quick. I was going to work on something, but this is there's a lot of work to keep on top of this. Yeah. All right, let's see. By the way, <clears throat> I just realized there is no How the LMA Works video in the Monday app. You're the worst. Oh, well, we should <laughs> get that on there. I know, because I just saw a message earlier that was like, I'm confused by all the buttons. There's a lot going on because there's so shirt. much information. Let's see. Kind of interested to see what they've tucked in here because there are like these lumps in this line and I'm not sure what that's all going to be. Chicken nuggets. Hopefully, oh. not something I can't fix. I'm about to undo it. Um, let's see. Don't think it's going to be chicken nuggets. I mean, it could be. You never know. I try to be. <laughs> optimistic. Maybe they put in like just a little nuggy. That's what we call it. Little nuggy. It might be like a an anti wire interference. <laughs> it's like a wire nut. Oh nope, it's just really thick ass insulation. Oh, well, that's good. It's a best case scenario. I was gonna say they just don't want you to have like a fire. That's pretty solid. I was concerned it was like a ground loop magnet that I wasn't gonna be able to get back on there, but it doesn't look like anything that we can't handle. I'm gonna just put this on the table a second to cut through this because it's <sighs> super thick. All right. Well, I have to find someone used Facebook. <laughs> To like message me anybody out there who works like has like 15 different ways to uh get you in there like people communicate with you about business i have like so many ways that people talk to me and i just had a lady who's like i sent that to you and i'm like do you remember how and she's like no 
So right now I'm literally searching and searching for like this lady's message. It's fun times. All right, let's see. Oh, how I yearn to work with the public again. I know you're excited. Well, this is kind of messy in here. One of these cables inside the cable has shielding and the other doesn't, and they just kind of split out from the main line independently, which is less than fun. I'm going to cut myself. I'm going to put this on the table so I can do this intelligently. Uh -oh. I got. Let's see what chat's doing. <laughs> you all said so it was a Decepticon, like from yesterday. Like he was talking about how the machine would transform into a Decepticon. Yeah, a little uh, bit. All right, so let's see. Catching up. Cuban Crack said, "Did you stick? Your, did you sick your pet alligators on the Amazon people?" No. <laughs> I did not. By the way, we actually did have alligators across the street the, the other day. It was like Tuesday or Wednesday. Nice camera work. Thank you. Uh, also, now, thank Alex for putting it together nice over there. Now that I see this, I may just cut it and start it again. So uh, we have a lot of extra length, and they have this all kind of like... I, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. I have made or auto focus off because it's gonna be worse than this, but yeah, it looks good. It's messy, so I think I'm just gonna redo it. See ya. All right, uh, you will asked, do did we get new iron tips and flux? <laughs> no, no, nah, man. Kyle's answer was hell no. <laughs> Uh, you should have done your electrical surgery and scrubs. <laughs> we actually talked about that. We made time. a joke about that. That's so funny. Let's see. Oh, Tom had guessed maybe it was RF beads in there instead of uh, the insulation. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not. It's just plastic. So it's easy enough to deal with. <laughs> yeah, he was saying it looks like coax for the antennas and stuff like that that you see. Yeah. It looks like this is actually under here. These are really clean, so that's going to be super easy to deal with. Um, it's I, We can even leave the solder on the pin that we're not going to use and just uh, solder the new one. So, I, and I've, I've, you know, I'm starting to get a little practice with this, so it may be cleaner today. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, but I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of the iron itself. We're getting to know each other a little bit, which is nice. Of course, now that I'm ready to put this back in the... We need to go ahead and put the XA on like a gyroscope so I can just control it too. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's hard. It's going to be hard for me to see what I'm doing while the camera is seeing what I'm doing, but I'm going to do my best here. Yeah, well, I can put it on the overhead. Actually, it looks pretty good, too. Mm. Oh, yeah, perfect timing to switch to the overhead. Yeah, hey, that's me. All right. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. What are we on? Oh, Miranda's so sweet. She said Alex will be as much of a messy bitch as he was last time. <laughs> Great. That is one thing, like, working with you in person that we both were the same about, is just, like, get the job done and then worry about the mess after. Yeah, definitely. Even if the work is the mess. Basically. Well, that's what I always do. Like whenever I clean out my shop or clean out anything, I like my wife goes crazy because like I make a huge mess in one corner. But like that's where we start and then we just go around and by the time we're done, there's less mess because it's all got chucked. Hey, yui. Yui. Yeah. 
All right. So from my view, I'm looking at this this way. And this makes it really easy to see that we have pin 20 here with the solder on it. So we have to go down one, two. So we'll be right there, just a half a step up from the ground, which is right there. So uh, again, really simple just to move this uh, down two pins is all we're really trying to do. Let's see. If I can share that again for people who just got here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, what is up with this? It's like everything zoomed in like 125%. Probably your, uh, yeah. Well, it's I got LDS. the different settings going on, yeah. So, in case you guys just got here or you missed it, basically, this is what we've got going on for the laser control board, and he is trying to move them for the digital, uh, for the UV laser so they can be read from digital. It's going to be moved from the pulse width modulation over here on 20, he's moving it down to one, two, 22, like you talked about. And then the ground, what are you doing with the with that one? You're leaving it on nothing. I'm just resoldering it because it was fucking worse than how I would have done it. Yeah. Which is saying something. So but there's a lot more things going on, but those that's those are, those are the two that we're looking for. So that's it. So that's what's happening. All right, and then we'll go back over here to Alejandro. Oh wow. Well, I fucked up. Uh oh, what'd you do? The ground bit of this wire is like it's not running side by side with the um with the signal cable it's like all around it it's going to be really difficult to strip without it's going to be difficult it's going to be a problem it might take me a few minutes Mm -hmm. so I hope that the wire is like slick. Oh, I found the picture that I'm looking for. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, make it as big as you can find it. And also make sure that it's black and white. It is three different colors and pixel wise. Let's see. <laughs> Thank God, oh God, what a nightmare! Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, this might work. We'll see. Oh, this looks so ugly. Oh, it's braided too. This is gonna be a mess. Miranda called it. Ugh, talk about a mess. This image she sent is we... trash. Oh, I don't know if you can see, see oh, this, yeah. but Oof. it's there's like silver colored braided cabling that comes up, and then there's a core that has a signal cable inside. Oh, so no. I have to un unbraid this without destroying it. And then strip the core separately. Well, I mean, you can always order dinner there. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see what chat's saying. Uh, Yule said it's shield wire ground core wire signal. Mm -hmm. And then the shielding is twisted into the wire. The core just leaves the small part out. And yeah. uh, Vince yeah, said, yeah. take something pointy and unbraid it little by little. That's what I'm doing. That's it. I've got 
wire snips out. I'm just trying not to, it's hard because you want to put pressure on it, but that just starts ripping the cable in other places, so. Yeah, this is gonna take a few. Sorry in advance. <laughs> We should have like a uh, a scene set up, like a static scene that plays. Doo, 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 doo. Like, does it have the music playing? Like, I'm like lo fi girl. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Vince said snips is not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm open to suggestions, bro. Unbraid it, he says. Tweezers or a darning needle. Alex, you've got a darning needle there, don't you? Yeah, I have so many darning needles. I, th I think Alex more likely has a fucking needle because he doesn't say darn. He's all about those. Hey, come on, that's solid. I'll try. I have tweezers. I'll try tweezers. Laura's wow. smart. She's got the tweezers. <clears throat> Laura, we're going to uh, need you to just go ahead and head over to Rochester and handle this. You know Laura's basically a surgeon, right? Well, she can surgeon this shit up. <laughs> hey, that's a darning needle, isn't it? I think that's what it is. I don't what know. Is a Let's see. I would call this a dental tool. And if I thought I was in a professional environment, I would call it a weeding tool. But what maybe that's oh, what Oh, look at is. these. I've never even heard of a darning needle. Laura, you're so smart. She knows a million, yeah, million things. Oh, yeah, she went to law school. A long sewing needle with a large eye used in darning. Huh. Ladies, a genius. I tell you, a genius. Let's see. I may have to start this over. Like, I've fairly well knotted this. Who would use a braided cable for this? Uh, I mean, is it higher quality stuff than what you would normally see? No, fucking no. <laughs> it's just preference. Not electronics. They probably don't think a lot of people are going to be cutting it up. Maybe, but still, I'm tempted to just go find some higher gauge. Like thicker gauge wire and just rerun the cable at this point because I've already cut it all up. It would just slip right out of the little wire channel. This does seem to be working. This wow. is a good suggestion. Here you go. So Vincent, you will know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They said keeps noise and interference out. Stop signal noise. And Tom said, anyone who wants to inter reduce interference and noise. So, yeah. So, it's high grade, high quality. It's all well and good. But, I mean, wouldn't there just be a bunch of signal noise where I'm separating the cable out? I guess that's why they had it so wrapped up. The end. We'll try to reproduce that as best we can. I got a lot of hairs down here, but it's just a reference ground, right? So it just needs to kind of sit there. It doesn't, I don't think the signal quality on the way back matters very much. I think I've got this mostly unbraided. I'm feeling good about the girth of what we have left over. <laughs> Sorry, that's just coughing. I'm definitely not childish enough to laugh at girth jokes. This looks really good. To my untrained eye, I feel like that. I feel like that's pretty solid. And we can just twist this bad boy up over here. Maybe I'll grab the cable cutters and we'll kind of put like a nice end on it, but. Overall, I'm feeling very good about that. So 
right? That's rock solid. Boom. Boom. It's pretty solid. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Vinny said, you got a lot of hairs from it because you separated it from the outside instead of inside out. So if you, next time, that's why I guess he was the, everyone saying the inside way. The braid mm. grounded takes a noise. Yeah, it helps to dissipate. It's what Tom is saying. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That makes sense. We got some smarty farties up in here from darning needles all the way to knowing about interference and degradation. Yeah, I'm not a... I would like to be an electronics guy. I feel like that would be super cool. I want to pretend that I am, and I'm not. But I would like to be, so I just do what I did with lasers and fake it till you make it. Just trying to cut off like the crappy split ends there. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. And what we have left is like a nice, chunky little solid piece of metal. And I love opening up your work email and seeing Florida Department of Revenue reminding you that you owe them money. Thanks, Florida Department of Revenue. You're the best. I'm going to open up my email to a bunch of hate mail from viewers about how much I suck at this. I mean, that's also fair. Yeah. All right. Nice and hot on the solder gun. I'm going to tin it up now so it doesn't come apart on me while we're working on the middle. All right. I'm going to pray that this is a better picture to work with. The uh, the burn that I gave myself yesterday from grabbing the soldering iron, were you here for that or was that just Kyle? Uh, I saw it afterwards at nighttime. Oh, uh, well, it's totally gone. I got so lucky. It, like, didn't burn me bad enough that it, like, hurt afterwards. You know, right. kind of hurt when it happened. I lucked out. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's see. Trace image. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Look hmm. at this. I had to go down to a threshold of 12. Oh, my gosh. Did it work? If it did, I'll be so happy. Delete this. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this lady, they want senior cups. So whew, this made my life so much easier. All right, we're gonna group all this together. We're gonna exit. I feel like people are probably more interested in watching what you're doing than watching me like file create. Well, I'd rather than watch you file create because this is embarrassing. I enjoy, like I relish the embarrassment a little bit if I'm not going to, you know, like if I'm just being honest. It's fine. You can be honest. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Plus every time I do that for a few minutes, I get to come back to new comments. Uh, Laura said that it shields from magnetic interference too. Let's see. It might use high frequency signal. Yep. Okay. I've been, ah, okay. He said, be careful because the core wire is thin is what, uh, yeah, see that. Yeah. You said, and then Vinny said, I've been into electronics for over 60 years. Yeah. We've seen your shop, man. Like the picture, at least exactly. I have. A bazillion, majillion things. Laura said she thinks this is very cool because it's so different. It's definitely different. It's a little stupid. You get an A plus for even trying, she said. Oh, Tom Holloway said, uh, once upon a long time ago, <laughs> I used to fix radar systems for surface-to-air missile systems. Well, that's pretty Yikes. cool. One Sounds time like I took apart well. a toaster and I had to throw it away because I destroyed it. So <laughs> that's me, dude. Yeah. Like I'm not even being funny. Like one time I was like, Oh, I know how to fix this. And I opened it and was just like, shit. Well, <laughs> let's try this snip. That was done. <laughs> I put it back together. Right I put it back together and pressed it. And instead of the toast smoking, the actual toaster started smoking. 
totally, I totally cut it anyway. I have a little bit left. I'm gonna try again. If not, you gotta go buy a darning needle. Well, if not, I'm gonna just strip more of the wire. We have more to work. That's with what I'm here. saying. The darning needle will do better. The little pokey did a pretty good job. Oh, I got it. All right. Hey, all right. That is. Oh, and I ripped the hair out while I was doing it. That is thin, dude. That's like three strands of wire. We told you to be careful. Yeah, you will say it's super thin. Yeah, no kidding. Right, give that old twisty twist. It just needs to work. No one's going to see the inside of the machine except for me and everybody who watches the channel. So no, no pressure. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, it's fine. Everyone's just judging you secretly and also not secretly. I know. I'm aware. All right, let's see. I guess, are you about to do something cool and exciting? I'm glad the guard is there. I, not really. I'm just doing another terrible job at setting up a wire. Well, I'm going to show people. I think this is so cool. So this is how I'm helping Alex over here today. It's pretty cool. You guys can kind of see what's going on over there. And so literally this is why I think it's so much fun to work here. So we've got this over here. We've got the stream over here. We've got this, so if we wanted to change, uh, we can actually pull this little lever. Whoop, and you guys can see an overhead view. So, pretty cool. That's where you can actually sit here. And we can click that, and what you guys see changes. So, it's pretty cool. And then we can take you back to this, so you can kind of see what you're working on. So, that's what I'm doing. And then the other thing that I'm working on is... Let's see. Who's it on right now? All right, so that's that. So then the other thing I was just working on was this right here, which was uh, a lady. So I just made this file, and a lady had uh, sent me. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So she sent me this picture. So I copied it. I brought it in. And this is where, like, again, you tell people, like, hey, like, you know, take a look at what we got here. Uh, I said, I just need black and white. And she sent me, like, something that had, like, three or four different colors. So I always make sure it's nice and big. And then we take it, trace the image. Boop. And if you notice, it highlighted the things that have the lower contrast. Because, again, it works with high contrast. So if you went to the right this time, like you normally do, everything gets dead and it just does the square so this is where you actually have to go back and right here around like probably this is where you gotta zoom in on these curves so you don't get anything weird right like 20 40 everything shows up and so that's where you get the best one and then you come up here individual delete and so now I've got pretty good file. I always go back through and make sure there's nothing that's too squared off or pixelated. S's kind of look a little weird, but it's also, this is a custom font that somebody made for sure. So if it has a little strangeness to it, I really don't feel like anybody's going to notice it, especially on a cup that's cylindrical. So this is where I like this one better than the one that I had. So I'll go here, delete it, hit control A, and then go boop, and then I'll save the file as that. So there you go. That's what I was working on. Let's see. And then <laughs> I got to remember which one I had going on there. All right, StreamYard. Go back to Alex over there. There you go. I scrapped it and started over. Hey, all right. So for anybody who just joined us, Alex just started over. <laughs> you haven't missed anything. All right. Alex just gave up. Let's see. 
Was it just because the wires are so thin? They were just, it wasn't thin, it was short. They were just short. All right, so let's see. We got some core wires thin. Let's see. That's. Yeah, so Tom said I usually would use a scalpel and good magnification for those fine cores like that. Because you yeah. have to be so careful. Uh, Vinny said. Solder the ground first. The center isn't strong enough for the stress. You'll put it through if you do it first. Yeah, that was, that was definitely my plan for sure. Michael from ET Laser Works said, I guess you can tell why Miranda doesn't let Alex braid her hair. <laughs> uh. Come on, just let go. Let it go. See, Miranda said she thinks that Alex, you wouldn't braid her hair even if she asked you to. No, that's not true. I absolutely think you would, and it would be as terrible as I think that it would be. <laughs> Maybe, but I would make the effort. If my wife asked me to do it. Uh, Miranda said to check your messages in a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't want to break your focus or nothing. Uh, you're not doing anything. Take a break. Look at this picture of Ollie's poop floating in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, Tom said not to feel too bad because those little coax cables like that can tax anybody, especially exp or even experienced technicians, like people who do this for a daily job. Nice. Duly noted. All right, look, I've got this really nice, it's a little rough where I made the initial split, but it's really nice and long and clean, and I should be able to unbraid that uh, smarter this time now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, if you've got anything that you can put inside out, that would be the way to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to my boring file creation. So we got hers done. By the way, for those of you who are here, here's a treat for you. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on the different, the, I've got two different uh, rotaries. So I might just do videos on those this week. That's what I was telling Alex. I got so many cups I've got to do. Uh, and they're not ones I can do on the CO2 Galvo because I did make a CO2 Galvo video, by the way. Is that one in the, the thing, Bob? Monday? I don't know, man. Pretty good one. You can check that. Yeah, I literally, I'm just saying, like, I don't even know. I look at it and I'm just like, uh, okay. Let's see. Monday. All right, that one. Hmm. I love how we have like uh, like a bunch of people that come to our live streams and like some of those people are here now, but like we also have now developed a group of people that are concerned about me working with electronics and show up to make sure that I don't fuck it up. It's like a subgroup of regulars. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vinny said, push the shield toward the cable and it'll open up to unbraid the unbraid easier. Like a Chinese finger trap is what 3DHP said. Okay. Oop. Oh, all right. I definitely did something. 
it's going. I'm just trying not to pull too hard because this is my last chance. I think this is the end of my cable run, and I don't think that I have enough or any of this kind of cable just laying around the shop. So if I screw this up, we're done for the day. So I'm going really slow. Yeah, Anthony said definitely the people who show up are hoping you get zapped. <laughs> well, we're past that. I'm past getting zapped. There's no zap danger today. It's not a darning needle, but you could say other cuss words for this one. That works. I like it. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any of the. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, in production. All right. All right. When you reach a quick stopping point, yeah, there it is. I'm here. All right, cool. I gotta text my mom. She said, You're amazing and wonderful. You have something to show while I text my mom real quick. <laughs> no, no, nope, yeah, nothing. Yeah. All right, I got it. Sorry, guys, this only takes a second. Welcome to lives. Well, I was gonna say, I can do this, and what we'll do is we'll put you over there. All right, so let's see. We can watch. So basically, let me just file save this. All right, so we're gonna save as. Uh, da, 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 da. laser engraving. We'll call this one. This is usually how I save my stuff, by the way. So I just do it. Um, so Shelly, some like band, and then she wanted twenty ounce navy blue tumblers. Not exciting stuff, but hey, you know, there you go, right? Save light burn, not a legacy project, but that's fine. Um, okay, what else do I have to do? So, file recent projects. I'm Monitor. debrading my cable again. If you want to take yourself off the fucking hotspot, it's fine. Yeah, it's really not super exciting. My whole thing is if I can prep all the work, then it'll be pretty good. That's how I do it too. You get I, everything ready to go and then yeah. I do it all at once. Yeah. So I can if I can pull up the pictures that I have of this one item that I'm making, I can show people what I'm working on. That would be probably way more exciting. All right, let's see. We'll go back over here real quick to the comments. I'm trying to like juggle all three of the cameras this and that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, Laura said, please don't zap yourself. Not, okay. so, Not today. Nice. At least there's someone who loves you. Um, all right, let's see. Then we got... No zapping. Yesterday was the day that I was going to zap myself. If it was going to happen, it would have been yesterday. So you will... Uh, you will said try not to shorten the coax. Sometimes the length is to help the signal transfer better. So, well, uh, we've well, we've probably lost three inches. I, it's not that bad. It's already kind yeah, of like yeah. at the length it needs to be. So hopefully we haven't done too much damage there. And then Tom said, hopefully it's not. Uh, hopefully this level of stuff is not signal wavelength matched. Anthony said, bro, is that a division sweatshirt? Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yuri said, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Matt and Kyle. I spent all weekend figuring out my UV laser. The community UV settings were a huge help. Thank you. These results are way better than sandblasting. Nice. Right. Go 
I'm glad that worked. And that's one of those things too, especially with the UV. Anytime we give you guys settings, like yesterday, if you weren't here, we, uh, I did a glass ornament just to kind of show people what it looked like under a microscope. Kind of also for like situations like a minute ago, because I I was like, yeah, we'll we'll hit the U, the UV the CO2 just to do some stuff. Um, and then we looked at it, and under a microscope, it looks so nice. It's like instead of micro fracturing. It's literally ablating the surface. It, and it looks like grains of sand. Dude. Yeah, like that's what we were able. To, I was yeah. able to show them yesterday. I think you had stepped away from it, but like I was actually literally able to show them a piece yeah. that had kind of blown away onto the clear part of the glass. Yeah, and I think just, I got like a little glimpse of it while you were while you had yeah, it up. Pretty cool. So, um, Tom said the signal. I think this signal is likely to be variable, so probably not an issue. And it's low frequency is what Benny said. So you're probably good. And Tom said that's a huge length when you consider the width of a pulse at the frequencies that you deal with. So you're probably in the clear for not having to worry about the what they were saying. I mean, it's already done, right? So Yeah, exactly. Can't do exactly. Oh, no. I think I'm going to stop here. They're getting so long that they're starting to knot up. And I do have like a really nice... Like kind of straight workable here. Length, yeah. yeah, and there should be enough of the scent. I had to restart because the center one wasn't long enough. Because when I stripped the core insulation the first time, I I like cut it. So I I know to be more careful with that now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna twist this up here and we're gonna try to do this core. If I can get the if I can get the core stripped in a, a decent way, like we can we'll be in good shape. Things will be things will be nice. So I just need to strip the core without fucking it up, and then we should be good. Because that's a nice, that's way better than last time. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, that's plenty of extra. You just got to be really careful with the thing like we are talking about when you're it, Yeah, stripping that's it what we're doing. We're doing it right now, so. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Because I'm pretty sure if I have to cut this again, I think I think we're going to be SOL. So I'm just oh. going to start really big and then work my way down. No pressure. Like that one, I can make contact and just move this in and out. So that's probably not it. So we'll just step down to the next one. By the way, one of the things Alex and I, while he's doing that, we were talking the other day. I got a, a email from a former client, and usually they contact me like every six months or so. They're a nonprofit. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to. I mean, I'd, I should be able to talk about it, but like, uh, they're basically they're a nonprofit that's in our area, but they're a national one. Um, for the like, keep America beautiful group is the national one. Um, and so long story short, they use, they've used me a few times to make signs for their parks and I'm trying to figure out pricing for them because they want 113 of something. And it's literally that same, um, like the Romark material mm -hmm. there where you guys have seen me make the video, like how to make $40 into 400. Like it's literally the exact same situation. Um, but we were talking about, they, in the email, they specifically ask for a discount because they're like, we are a nonprofit. And we, and they didn't say it rudely or anything, but it's one of those things like we're trying to figure out how much do I give off? What do I do? Because it's definitely a profitable job, but like, oof, not a ton, especially because they're nonprofit. Like they've got some slim margins. So I've seen if I could show you guys what those look like too, while he's doing that. But I think people want to see this. <laughs> Just going really slow, dude. Little tugs. I nip a little more of the yeah. insulation away and give it a couple more. Just teeny little tugs. Uh, Yuri said, UV is an absolute game changer. I've been sandblasting glass for over three years. And when the first UV glass finished, my jaw hit the ground and rolled away. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's see. Come on, you son of a bitch. 
legendary. Cool. It's hanging on by a thread. It's really fighting me. Fuck. Oh, I did it again. Damn it. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. Well. I'm trying to be I'm trying so hard to be gentle with it. I was going to say the only thing I could think would be like try to snip and spin it, but I don't know if that would work because it's uh I'm going to I'm just going to I don't know what I'm going to do. Call Mactron, say send me some wire. <laughs> I'm going to untwist this. Probably should have waited. And see if I can unbraid it a little bit more to reveal a little bit more of the clear insulation from the core. Can't believe I did it again. Yeah, Vinny said there's more than enough left. But I think that your concern for people who can't see it is just the length that you need to run it across where it's got to send the signal to and from, right? It's just the length from once it comes out of the back of the the cable thing. Like, I just don't know if it's going to reach the EasyCAD board straight right. up. But um, we'll see. Yeah, it's not really from a technical Tom said, Tom said, do you have any other uh, Snips. types of strippers? Yeah, I mean, I might just go in there. I think at this point, I may have just better luck with like a razor. I'll put a fresh blade on this one, and I'll try to cut it lengthwise is what I did for the outer cable. And it oh, worked Vinny said pretty he well. Made, yeah. All right, let me read through these for you. So let's see, trying to refurbish unit. There's more than enough left. He meant, uh, Vinny meant sticking out from where he cut it off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That maybe for someone who doesn't suck. And then Yule said you could just try burning the tip back. Oh, just straight up melt it off. That's interesting. I'm, I'm guessing that's what he's recommending, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting, that is an interesting idea. I do like burning things off of stuff. <laughs> I burn things good. I do. Let's see. Yeah, I appreciate Vinny's confidence in me with the length, <laughs> but uh, I don't feel the same way. So I'm going to try to reveal... Yeah. Just a Tom, little bit more. Well, of Tom it. and Vinny both said the melting way could work for sure. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me try that next. I I'm gonna try the razor first. I just I feel pretty good about being able to run the razor down the length of it. I kind of wish I had tried that first because I feel like that would be yeah pretty successful. That's well, what I did for the outer the outer one, and it, it worked really well. That's how I got this piece of the. <laughs> ground wire out just so to show people real quick well yeah i don't know if i can show people this thing because it's got their stuff on it but whatever i was gonna say the signs that i'm making uh i gotta make 100 the, ugh, 113 of those okay i'm making my checklist of stuff to do all right so we save this yep Okay. Tom said you could use your CO2 laser to burn, <laughs> burn it back. It's true. Just do like a flat beam. Yep. Also true. Yeah, got a nice end on that again. Got rid of all the kind of frayed. Yeah, you're gonna be a pro at getting the end to come out nice. Like that, that was way faster that time. Yeah, well, practice makes perfect, right? I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. 
All right, so I'm just going to take this razor sucks. I'm going to change the razor. Right, Evelyn, so, I'll be back in just a second. Evelyn is showing me one of her uh, colorings. Yeah. I'm just going to change my razor really quick. I feel pretty confident about this method, so I'm going to try this first. If this doesn't work, then fire. We'll do it with fire. But I need to get rid of this. This blade is all dull and messed up, so... I'm just going to grab a new blade. Nice, fresh, and sharp. All right, I'm back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Vinny said don't use fire. You could literally just use a soldering iron to melt it back or whatever. Mm, yeah, I wasn't. I was joking. I was being facetious. I don't think I have anything that makes fire they, here. With you, honestly, it is fair. I'm not doing it. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna add to my checklist here. Oh, that's who I need to get look up. We Nice and easy. I got it. I got it to hook into the plastic. I'm just pulling it along. to go every direction but straight yeah. so close yeah tom just said i don't know about nowadays but the proper tools to do these cost like a couple thousand dollars <laughs> like oh. the well that is not something i'm gonna buy I would imagine there would have to be proper tools for this because this yeah. doesn't seem re reasonable. And that's for people who do this stuff like all day, all the time. Yeah. Okay. 50 navy blue 20 ounce tumblers. That's the other thing I have to order all this stuff. Jeez. Hmm. Vectorize Casey's image. Okay. So I vectorize Shelly's image. Make the logo for Shelly. I don't know if any of you guys out there use Microsoft to do, but one of my favorite sounds is like the sound right here. Where like you get the job done and it just goes ding. <laughs> You're like, yes. Okay, now I get the message, Shelly, whether that works. Done. Send an invoice to Casey. Oh yeah, I gotta do that too. Jeez. Vinny said he has the proper modern tools, but he rarely uses them. So, yeah, even if somebody, even if you're like him, 60 years in the game with electronics, mm. it's like a, is it worth the money? I guess it depends how much you use them. Come on. 
Take so your time. Close, yeah, just take your time. It's right there. Look, it's like put it down. It's the jacket's like off of it on the base here. And I'm just slowly sl slipping it up. Trying not to rip the actual cable. Well, the other thing is like try putting your fingers on the actual cables at the instead of the main cable. Mm -hmm. Like holding part of it, the three the three little wires or whatever. Yeah. Those tools make me nervous. Got it. Yep. All right. That was uh, that was hard. All right, pull it down so we can see what the fuck, like what you're looking at. I'll try to move it, the camera up because I need my elbows on the table when my hands shake. Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm just saying, like, oh, okay. Yeah, don't break everything now. All right. So, there's our. You literally can't even see them unless it's against your jacket. Yeah. yeah Jesus it's Christ. It's, it's like hairs. And then there's the, um, the signal. What a pain in the took us. I have a lot more length to work with now, though, which is nice. So, yeah, Tom said buying the tools is basically an expensive training course. <laughs> like, yeah, I bet. All right, that looks good. This is where I wanted to be. It looks like about what they had, pretty close. Yeah, and Vinny is saying that he would have left more insulation on the center than that, but I think you can always kind of weave it back a little bit. Yeah, it's in, maybe. I haven't, I haven't made any active choices here. I'm, <laughs> I'm. He was I'm crossing his fingers. He's glad he got what he got. Yeah, I'm doing what I got. All right, you need to wake up. Irritated, you keep getting hot. You keep getting cold. Let that heat up for a second. Yeah, I don't love it. Um, what are you going to do? I'm, I'll put five layers of shrink tubing on it, and hopefully we can keep a little separator there. I could even hit it with a little, like, hot glue just in the corner. It's probably actually a good idea just to make sure that those two, like, never touch so that we don't have a short issue later. That's probably what I'm going to do. I think that's the best tool I have to accomplish that. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, I think I have like two of my videos <laughs> that are like done done. They've been done for like three weeks. That aren't even on this list in progress. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll need to add those. All right. Then if I get sloppy with the solder, at least the like glue bead will be. Yeah, there it won't run it. back on it or whatever. Yeah. I use my hot glue gun so much, dude. It's fancy. I got my wife the same one. I got it for me, and she, I, I like. She's like, "Oh, did you get this for me?" And I saw how excited she was when I got home, and I went, "Sure did." <laughs> Straight up lied. All right, let's see. 
because I'd gone to like the Ryobi shop that's down here. Because there's uh, for those of you who don't know about it, there is Ryobi outlets, and you can get stuff pretty cheap. I think I bought that same glue gun for like twenty dollars. Wow. Yeah. So it's pretty dope. Let's see. All right. Uh, it's a very exciting camera angle right now. <laughs> Mystery man. How do you plead? It's this more like this. Like, so tell us about the trauma that you've endured working at Laser Everything. <laughs> Def defense noted. <laughs> I'm dread. Miranda beats me. <laughs> like, we're not showing the this person's this victim's face purposefully. The HR department <sighs> hurts people. All right, let's see. So I can show you what I'm working on, I guess. We'll do a 50-50 split here. All right. Uh, I got an email. Let's see Just want to soak up the sun. Oof. All right, so we got this, that one. I got this I'm supposed to do. Got to pay that bill. Is it? I think it came from. Nope, not that one. Hmm. What the hell is that? It's me. Oh, hi. And then he hi. took. <laughs> Uh, Sounded like you were in a subway tunnel. Sorry. It's okay. Just didn't know what it was. How does it feel? Oh, Kyle, did you take me off to 50 50? Uh, did I? I think so. One me. No, Kyle, not Kyle, do. Let's see. Oh, my God. That works. We'll do 30 30 30. Uh, let's see. So this is where I've got these rally logos that I'm supposed to work with. I'm just going to download them all. Download. All right, let's see. So this is what's nice and when Alex was talking about, like when you work with a company that actually uses Adobe Illustrator, it's really nice because like you actually get some high quality stuff. So this this instead of the one that I got from a person, and I love her. She's one of the best people ever. But she's she asked the person, "Hey, can you send me the file? Like, look how nice these are to manipulate and play with." Versus what she asked the band director for, and the band director gave her uh, whatever he had. So let's see. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. What are you up to today, Kyle? Delayed Easter with the family. Hey, Here, let's look at what Alex is doing. That looks fun. All right. So in case you just got back or you're wondering what Alex is doing, you want to tell him about the glue, why you're using hot glue? I'm just using the glue as an insulator to prevent these two wires from touching. And I've got a nice little glob on there. So it's got like a nice little, it's encased. And I feel much safer about them being next to each other now. And we'll wrap that in a bunch of heat shrink, too. Uh, by the way, Vinny was saying done. he has the same soldering iron, and he hates that it shuts off so it stays in the toolkit. <laughs> I know. It shuts off all the time. Drives me but nuts. Tom actually said you can get a combined hot air slash iron soldering station for like 100 bucks nowadays. Yeah, I saw the hot air ones look really cool. I'm going to check those out. And then Vinny said, Tom, I went through a few of those. Now I just use the Hakko iron. Don't do much surface mount stuff anymore. So working well or set up somewhere in the garage. Yeah. I feel like that's something I'm going to have to get at some point when shit starts breaking. But I'm just kind of crossing the iron. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Well, but it's one of those things that I don't have to buy it yet. So I'm not <laughs> like they don't have they don't have to be expensive. I use 
the ancient one I inherited from my dad, and it works great. Yeah, well, that's one of those tools you definitely take care of it and keep it in a good spot, and it'll be good. I just don't want to solder. <laughs> I, that means. Eh. I didn't either. You get you figure it out. You get used to it. Oh yeah, I'm not worried. Like I feel like I can do those. it. Like, those look fucking. Those are banging. That looks way better than the stuff I was doing even just a couple days ago. I just I don't want to. It's with amazing me. what a couple days of soldering will do to your uh, your experience level. Yeah. All right, that looks nice. Oh, Jack in the shop said I got a cheap Paco hot air uh, workstation for fifty eight bucks. That's pretty dope. All right, now the bastard. Oh, Faco. I think he's just trying to make me say dirty words. Damn you, Jack. <laughs> he said, not a hako, but a fucko. <laughs> that would just be really fun to say. Not gonna lie. All right. I might I'm glad Kyle's here because I might actually have to go in a few minutes because Evelyn just like popped the door open and like pointed to our playground. <laughs> like, mm, okay. I will not be able to stick around too long. That's okay. Alex. I will survive. Yeah, you know, yes. I will survive. Not going to be able to read chat, but I'll just talk to them and I don't know, read live chat later. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go. That's really hot. That's still really hot. Ooh, Benny said, solder the ground first. I am. Okay. Oof. Benny's got your back. I know it. Fucking iron is dirty. It's not. It's not getting hot enough. That's what I should have ordered yesterday when I got that RS-232 connector. I should have bought some flux. I knew I was missing something. Oh, then he said to wet a sponge to clean off the tip. Yep. I got it. It's right here. Solder on Not. the tip. Wipe it on the wet sponge. Yep, it's coming. <laughs> he said that that doesn't sound good. Whatever that sound was. It's, it was the sandpaper. Which is, hey, you know what? Laugh at the sandpaper if you want. The sandpaper has gotten me through all of these videos. I then he did type it, but I think he probably just threw up in his mouth a little bit. Yeah. Somebody it's told hard. me a long time ago, sandpaper works great. It does. It's a good tip. Is it a tip on a tip? Yeah, a little sanding block. Kyle, we need to record you say it, and then you can be like, this been Kyle with just the tip. <laughs> Your Hollyland just died. Ugh. Oh no. Get the above the shot, above the head action there. Mm 
Mm-hmm. All right, and we're back. Let's see again. Still dead. I said, when I said that Benny didn't type it, but he was probably thinking it when he threw up in his mouth, he said, yep. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, whatever you put into the XA did not work. Second priority at the moment. Oh, I know. You're good. All right. I will be right back. God, what a pain in the ass. part of the problem I have on some of these D sub connectors is that the wires I'm trying to put into them are just too fat so I use the pliers to try to pinch them down into a little bit more of a point Here they go in a little easier also the pin was full of like old torn up wire so I just melted it and pulled it out. Just got it, and then I remembered that there's no fucking heat shrink tubing, so I need to get it out. Son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? So much. Whatever you did. Mm -hmm. Is that a tear on the table? I see. You don't have to cry, man. I'm here. I'm here for you. <coughs> Excuse me. For now.
<laughs> Moya Tsai said, I have full confidence in Alex's skills. I don't have any skills, but I do have a fair bit of luck. I'm a pretty lucky guy, so I think with a little luck. Eh, to me, you've just got the tenacity to get it done. Like My thing is there's a lot of times where I just will be like, ah, that seems difficult, and I don't want to do it, and so I don't. <laughs> yeah, this is a big perseverance component involved in doing bullshit you don't know how to do. That's my brother's the same way. He just rips shit apart. Okay, I gotta fix this. This is fucked up now because I've made too many attempts. Uh, Laura said, how is my weather? My weather is hot. Uh, this week is gonna get up to 90 two or three days out of the week. So like today is one of the last nice days, which is why in a few minutes I gotta go play with my kiddo. Because after that, it's going to be like fat men in the Florida heat don't work, you know. Although Florida, lots of morbidly obese people. So, you know, just saying. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is this thing? An encapsulated postscript. What the hell is that? It's an EPS. It's like yeah, no, generic what? AI. It's a generic AI file. Got it. It's so funny. I literally just need a black and white PDF just for this. Like, just give me a PDF that's black and white. Why can no one just do that? Oh, I did it again. I completely forgot why I restarted this. I need to put shrink on it. Let's see what we got. That should be a good pick. Oh, Anthony says they've got a whole lot of 60s and 70s, and he needs the mow, but it keeps raining. It was hailing and sleeting up in Rhode Island. Ugh, gross. No thanks. Vinny said that he can see you right now, like, knocking the heat, <laughs> the heat shrink kit onto the floor. <laughs> Hush now. <laughs> we don't we don't speak of these things. I got something enough. Get out of here. This is gonna be too thin. I guess we're going with a different oh. color. By the way, I meant to, I wasn't here yesterday when you guys started talking about red green. I didn't have to look it up. I grew up with PBS uh, to raise me because we couldn't afford cable. So I was one of the few people who had like a TV with like four channels. And then if me or my brother held up the rabbit ears, we had like five or six channels.
And now Anthony's bragging about his hot tub. Jeez. Mm. This guy over here. All right, I got to get this stupid file together. I'm going to have to mess with this later. Let's see if I can just get... Why do they give you multiple colors if every single color is going to be a different size? Then you really don't have a choice of which color you're using, do you? It's like I have to use the red because it's the only one that's going to fit, even though it's the ground. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like the what you're saying is they should have like the top row be all skinny but four different colors and then the middle row. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense because black for ground. I was going to use even yellow would be fine, but red usually means live and dead for anybody and who's watching who doesn't know. This wire is getting red. Luckily, everything looks red, Dalek, so it's fine. It is. I see red. Let's look at this already. Go find my heat gun now. Fucking put everything away. <sighs> All right, buddy. I have got to run. Kyle, are you here? He's I don't not. think so. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about you. it. Oop. We'll be fine. I'll pull. Uh, I'll find chat on the uh, workstation computer over here. <coughs> yeah, and then uh, how long do you think you'll be doing this? Because I'd probably only be gone for like thirty minutes. I don't know, dude. Probably <laughs> longer than that at the rate I'm going. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of the. Uh, I'm gonna get. Well, actually, I'll leave the ATM up if Alec or if Kyle wants to kick me out. You can. Yeah, sure. And that way it's still up and going if I'm back. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get a chat up, guys, so I can at least see what you're saying. Yeah, I'll stick with you till you get it. And then yeah, the other yeah. thing is, did you want to try to, before you get back up and down a whole bunch, to do you have our battery ready for the Hollyland? No, but this one's got like an hour and a half left on it. So. Okay. We should be good, Vince. He won't have it soldered in 30 minutes. Uh, I'd be offended, but it's true. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. You got to start somewhere, man. Yep. All right. I've got all my shit minimized. I am going to play with my kiddo. See ya. And the other two are sick as dogs, so let's <laughs> leave them inside. Like, Daddy loves you. Come outside. Bye. All right. See you, dude. See you. Bye, everybody. Be back soon. That's horrible, but we'll work on it. It's enough for now. So now I'm going to take another piece. I'm going to slip it over that so that we can slide it down after we're done. I'm running out of places to put things. You can live down there. Right, I'm going to try to get a bigger piece of yellow. So I want to make sure the joint was covered. And this will be kind of a slip over the rest of it when we actually get it soldered. So let's slide that on. There, baby. One take. Here we go. Good. 
Get on, get hot. Probably right about the tubing, Vince. Melting. Why are you hot? Turn it off and turn it back on again. <sighs> yeah. I agree. I just turned it off and turned it back on. So, we will see what happens. Please melt. Hey, all right. Get in there. that's not going to slide down now because it got too hot because the wire is too short. Whatever. We aren't taking this apart. I will hot glue it when we're done. Um, for now, it looks pretty good. With little fucking just shitty pieces left over. Try to scrape those out. Oh, I actually feel like I'm cleaning teeth. It's not touching anything else, so... One little piece that I don't really like. But I don't know if I should be messing with it. I'm going to call that good enough. Let's see if we can pre fill this with a little solder. Some jacket on this. Pull 
we're gonna again heat up too quickly, but doing the best I can. fucking shrink tube and gets hot just like way before the wires ready to go in I said do this all the time are wild. They literally don't know. They get so good at this. There we go. Got it out. Let that cool off for a second. Try again. Come on. Ooh, it's hot. I think I got it. Now we just need to make this like interference proof. I think the first thing that I have to do is just like blast this with some hot glue before we do anything else. Might be able to get creative with glue and some shrink tubing. So the glue, because it dries so quickly, will keep like a cut piece of shrink tubing in place. Get that warming up. And we can like wrap it around a couple times or something. Something like that might work.
test it first. Yeah. Way too late for that. Yeah, tin the wire, tin the pin, then just touch it with the iron. I wish that that was how it was working for me. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but... You guys are welcome to come out to the shop and redo my wiring for me. I have no shame. Just can't be good at everything. My biggest concern right now is just keeping these pins like separate. Keeping that little one protected. actually have an extra D sub of this size so if this doesn't work out I could just start over again like from complete scratch uh, if the shit hits the fan so well that was gonna work come on That's not going away. I hoped it would. Let's get this off of there. All right, we're going with the original plan. Fill it with glue. Vince is screaming right now. Uh, 
I'm not concerned that the like solder isn't going to have a connection. I'm way more consor concerned that I'm going to like short something out. And that's going to be my biggest problem with this. My wife did call it when she said that I was going to make a horrible mess out of this. I mean, she knows me. It's basically going to be like an epoxy resin pour of hot glue. That looks good. I'm cut the rest of that off with the razor. Now we'll try to find some creative way to wrap this. sure how we're going to get that to keep maybe a dab of hot glue. Just going to sit there for a second. It shrinks up so much, and the glue melts. Oh, guys, this isn't going to be good. I think our saving grace is going to be whether or not this connection is super sensitive to interference. I don't have a ton of interference going on in here, so we are in a basement, but. All right, enough of the short tubing. You're done. Ugh. I think we'll just electrical tape it to shit. This is never coming off. Don't tell anybody. 
we're not going to ever speak of this day ever again. There's the connection at the bottom. That still looks rock solid, so at least we have that going for us. This is all just going to have to hide. I'm just going to have to hide this so no one can ever see it. All right, we've got this bad boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys. This is not my specialty. Maybe I'll just fill that with fucking hot glue. It's actually not a bad idea either. Just fill the whole thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, that sounds like the most promising way to wrap this up. Probably what I should have done from the beginning. Just use that as like a cast. And just filled it with glue. All right, noted. On the interference, I hear you. Just pumping it in. There we go. Oh no, my glue. We'll just push it through. All right, sit there. Don't move. Get another glue stick. of the angels far away from here. All right, baby. Here we go. Oh, don't you get back in there. So I don't want to put this down. Get in there and you stay. That hole needs a lot of plug-in. That hole needs a lot of plug in. I'm just gonna encase, encase the thing like we're stashing the sarcophagus of an old pharaoh. I'll put this in the refrigerator. Sit here and be good for like two seconds. Just stay. All right now, you. Other half of this equation. Literally, just gonna fill it. I think we got it. Yeah. 
L hot hot. Okay. All right. Let's get some screws in here. I think this is actually working, which is pretty funny. Where's that other nut? There it is. Force these into position. So I forgot to put them in. Come on, in you go. There's one. All right, I'll just leave that to set up for a minute. Oh my goodness. It's hot. It's pretty hot. But I think it will be functional. Just trying to clean it up. No one's ever going to know what went on inside of this by the time we're done with it. And I'm betting it's going to work. We'll see, of course. I, I'm wrong about a lot of things a lot of the time, but I don't know. Hot glue doesn't steer me wrong very often. We got a little bit of a bent pin up here. Just going to bend that one back just a little bit. Got a tiny piece of hot glue in there. Those look great. Yeah, this looks good. Again, we're we're never opening this, but it looks good. So let's hope it works. Otherwise, I'm going to be buying some of this cable on Amazon, and we're going to be ripping the whole thing out and starting over, which nobody wants. need a new coke in a minute that was like the nuclear apocalypse of hot glue I swear to God, though, guys, like the hot glue gun, probably my favorite tool. <laughs> no joke. Like, I use this thing so much to just glue things together, which makes sense. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm just trailing off, it's because nobody's talking to me, and I haven't really looked away to read chat yet. Kind of afraid to, honestly. 
little nervous about what you guys are going to say to me. But here we are. I think when it hardens a little bit more, we can just go in from the top and just fill it out. All right, let's see. Ugh, I'll see how, how much trouble I'm in. Hope you got it wired right. Yeah, me too, Michael. Me too, man. <laughs> Look on the bright side. None of us are warranty repair techs for Alex. Yeah, my uh, my warranties are voided by showing up at my door. I I like to kind of think it's my job to void my warranties. So. Be nice to the next behind your work. It might be you. Yeah, I don't think this laser is going to have a second owner, guys. I think I'm going to run this thing into the ground. So um, I'm not super concerned about the people that come behind me, but it is just a D sub connector, right? So if this really needed to be repaired by somebody other than me for some reason, I mean, you could just cut this thing off. It's not like. It's not like a one of a kind piece. Just remove it. The pinouts are online. I was able to find them, so. And when we do a full episode of this, I am planning on publishing all these pinouts and stuff too that I use for this because we do have them. Um, I think Matt had them up on the screen earlier today. All right, there we go. Just kind of seal that back end up there. Definitely could have done this better. I'm a doer though, guys. I gotta, I'm definitely the kind of person that has to do it the wrong way before I do it the right way. Just try to get this to dry off. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if it doesn't work, Tom, like I said, I'm just going to end up just all this wire is just going to come out and we'll just start over. Even if it doesn't work, if you're having fun watching me destroy things, make sure you smash the like button because it helps out the channel. Allows me to do crazy shit like this to my hardware so you don't have to. The plug is drying up really nicely, actually. So we'll have like a nice smooth cap on the end of that. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It does. It takes a level of bravery to, to jump into this kind of crap, I think, when you have no idea what you're doing. It's super daunting when you're when you're new. And at, at one point, like I just I got so afraid of messing it up when I did the original EasyCAD 3 downgrade video. I was so afraid of messing it up that I was just never going to, I was never going to start. I was never going to do it. And at some point I just got the fuckets and I was like, you know what? Like if we destroy it, we destroy it. Uh, but I, I have to figure this out hands on. I have to. So, um, here I am figuring it out hands on. You guys are hanging out for it. I'm going to try to clean up my workspace just a little bit. I'm going to let that sit and dry before I screw it in. The end looks great. A little end cap there that we put on it looks awesome. This is extra wire. I'm going to need that later. Hold on to that too. 
I don't remember what most of these screws go to. Uh, I think these were from the cover plate for the other EasyCAD light board for the CO2 Galvo, which we have to put back in today, too. You can sit over here. I mean, I'm hoping that just my, like, pinout calculations were correct. But beyond just, like, hoping that this botch job of a solder nonsense works at all, I, you know, we still have to get the... We're, we're still guessing on the pinout. I, I'm pretty confident based on what I read that we did this right, but you never know. Especially with the Chinese stuff, things are just like backwards all the time or just straight up wrong. Like the voltage in uh, pinout for the EasyCat 2 board was just wrong. Uh, and we only learned that the hard way. So... Yeah, you know, it could just be a lie. I mean, we don't we don't know. We have to plug it in and try it, which we're about to do. For now, I'm going to have confidence. I'm going to screw this connector back into the board. Let me get all this stuff scraped up here. We'll just dump that onto the pan of ice so we can throw that away later. All right. So if this went well, we should have pulse width modulation control of our UV uh, now being sent to the laser source. That was the goal here. That's what we were going for. Just screw this in. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this with confidence, guys. We're gonna screw it back into the board. We're gonna believe we did it the right way. This is snug. All right. Should be good for now. Get this out of the way. If it went, if this went well, we'll all be shocked. How do you think half my videos are made, man? This is how I learned how to laser engrave. You just make this shit up until you get it right, and then you tell people what the right way was. That's that's a hundred percent how I do my job. I make it up until I figure out the right answer, and then I share the right answer. All right, I guess I'll put you guys on the view of the material. Let's see, I have to like get up and walk over to this now to guess the camera, because I can't see any of the stuff that, oh, right, it was on the, do, do, do. which one are you? The X8. Ah. All right, I'm putting the battery in this. And I'll move you guys over to the material. If this works, we should be carving a hole into the wood. If it didn't work, it won't fire at all, or we'll be stuck with the same problem. And that's going to be our assessment. So um, no matter what I tried, again, I spent hours, hours and hours and hours and hours, everything I could think of to try to get this to just even just mark this wood. It wouldn't even mark the wood. This engraving that's on here is from when I got the CO2 Galva. So like it, it literally would do nothing to this block of wood. So if we do anything to this block of wood, we win. That's the bar for success right now. Uh, a secondary objective would be seeing if the settings, changing the settings, changes the results that we get. And that would be like a, a two-tier success. We're gonna go ahead and open light burn. I know you guys can't see it, but it's open. We're just gonna make a circle here, guys. 
We're going to go 250 speed, 30 frequency with a pulse width of 16 nanoseconds. And let's see what happens. All right, moment of truth. Everybody cross your fingers. Three. Oh, well, I think we have to actually let the source warm up for a minute. Oh, hey, there we go. I mean, hey. It's definitely marking that wood. All right, let's try to crank up the uh, power a little bit. Let's take the Q pulse width up to 33. I think we did it, guys. That looks good. Uh, let's now, what if we do uh, my EasyCAD 3 test? I had the speed set to 25. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We did it. Hell yeah, guys. That's awesome. I know you didn't, Vince. I know you didn't, man. Brilliant. That is just excellent. All right, cool. So now, now we can actually start our, uh, our configuration process for the UV. If you guys remember, if you were here for it, and I think most of you were, uh, this all started because we had finished setting up our first lens for the CO2 Galvo. We did the 70 millimeter lens over there. Um, and we had the 140 set up. We have more to do, but uh, I do need this laser operational. So um, uh, we, we totally got sidetracked on this with a big side quest. Uh, but yeah, man, that is cranking. That's working. That's awesome. So side quest uh, achieved. I think we can go ahead and stop filling the shop with smoke. I don't even think I have the exhaust on. We're going to close light burn for now, guys. And uh, we're going to, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably switch you back to the main. We're going to get the UV closed up. We're going to get it thrown back under the table here and get just kind of everything sorted back to where it is supposed to be. And, uh, and then we'll move on, I guess. We, we have time still. We, have, we still have time to hang out. We finished the operation with, uh, with bonus time, I think. What time is it? 4.30? Hey, we've got about two hours left. We can definitely do a UV config. So we'll do our first UV config. We'll go through a, a lens test or what have you. Let's see. What? Here. There we go. The head on. So we'll get this closed up here. Uh, we're just going to get things kind of cleaned up a little bit. Hi guys, and then um, I don't know. Shit, we'll uh, we'll do our config. First thing I'm gonna do is go grab a coke. I am thirsty. Whew, what a project! I'm stoked, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh. I forgot our poor our poor CO2 Galvo still has its controller ripped out too. We need to put that back in. Mm. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Um, let's see. So uh, let's get the machine shut down. First of all, I'm still impressed we put this power supply, <laughs> this five volt power supply from the wall adapter into the machine. I'm. <laughs> I think that is still probably the coolest thing that we've done. It's cool that changing the pin worked. I've done that before, but like actually just repurposing an entire wall, like DC adapter uh, to fix something in our laser is pretty rad too. So um, I'm pretty proud of that. Also the D sub connector on the back of the source needs its casing put back on because I had to check the pin out for that to see what pins we were even trying to replace in the first place. Uh, but let's get the UV 
we'll get the UV put back together. I'm just going to turn the computer here a little bit so I can see chat while we do this. Uh, this part I've gotten pretty fast at, so uh, this shouldn't take too long. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. And uh, if you want to chat, just you know where to throw it. Say hey. Let me know if you're enjoying the content. Like I said, I, we will have a full episode on this too. So um, I'll explain in a little more detail like where I found the pinouts and how we read them and uh, kind of assessed the situation, things we did to troubleshoot it in the first place, all that jazz. Uh, I'll cover that in the full episode. I got plenty of B-roll for it today, so that'll help me actually kind of explain the things that we did during the stream. If that's something you're interested in, if you're feeling lost, uh, if you have no idea what we're doing. And I'll have that out in a couple days. It'll be a short edit. Not much to throw together on that one. Just need to write a little script and get my ideas out on paper. You did a thing. Holy shit, you fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, did buddy. you watch? Did you watch me do it? Did you yeah. watch me fill the D sub with fucking hot glue? I I missed that, but I was oh. here in time to catch you firing it. Well, I did because everybody I've, was really concerned about interference and I I've been listening not, on my headset while I'm cooking. So Yeah, I couldn't get anything soldered uh without melting the heat tubing. It was just melting constantly. So I ended up just getting the fuckets. I just soldered the thing on there. And then I, I, I put the connector into the D sub thing and I just filled it with hot glue and then just screwed it closed and left it to cool. So, I mean, hot, hot, glue, hot glue is just plastic, right? It's just basically right. just wet plastic. And that's, you, you basically did an entry level course on silicone mold making. Yeah, great. Perfect. <laughs> I'm I'm feeling pretty good that'll keep out whatever interference we need to keep out. So, you know, a little bit of hope there, but it seemed to be working. I changed settings. It responded. I mean, that was all good. So, you know, what else do you want? I think this is still tight. Quite like a twigger. Tweet. Yeah, dude, I'm 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 amped. Pulled that one off. Ugh. I know you're excited to get that UV set up again too, and yeah, even more so excited to get it used on Lightburn. I just want to play with my UV, dude. That's all I want. I know you want to play with your toys. I do. Uh, this goes like that. I'm putting that the wrong way. God, I hate these. We can't make these better. We can't put like a door on this or something. Or I mean, mine's far better. Mine, you just take the top off, and mm -hmm. the side panels slide up like a sliding door. So I don't have to touch the bottom screws. I don't have to resquare. Yeah, the I mean, that's how like the SFX is like that. Yeah, where they just slide like the rail goes all the way up to the top, but these yep. stop at the at the corner. Yeah, I don't like those ones. Super stoked on that, but yeah, dude, I just can't believe it worked. I was on a prayer. Well, we had an inkling it would work, so yeah. I mean, we didn't just guess. Like, I did so if, much research for this last night. If you're in, if yeah. you're in chat watching this right now, and you haven't hit the the like button yet, I think Alex deserves a like button smash. Now is the time. If not for his soldering skills, for getting it working, for my dignity, for Sparta. There's the next question. If it didn't work, we're going to Sparta kick it off the table. 
No, I told everyone, like, I, I would just have had to order. They were calling it coax cable. Yeah. Which I it, guess that's like yeah, what coax you, cable is. Yeah, the grounding's like the shielding. So, yeah. So I, uh, I would have just had to buy new coax and just rip the whole thing out, like the whole line and start it over, which is fine. I was willing to do that. At that point, I had already unwired the source side of the coax and I'd already uh, unwired the laser like control card side of the coax. So what was, what was just ripping the wire through the, the shield, you know, and just doing it again. So just occurred to me that my Canada dry is the same amount of calories as your Coke. Yeah. It's uh it's full of sugar, bro. Eh, 140 calories. It's worth it. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed this, Vince. We actually get we get a fair number of complaints on the channel that a lot of our content is just too long form, well, which I we, get. This... We get it. We get it both ways. The yeah, live, we do. They say the live streams are too long. The complaints, and then we get other complaints that say the ten minute videos go too fast. Yeah. So we have so... to make. We have to. You you can either speed up the live streams to to two x, and that cuts the speed down by half if you can absorb the conversation that quickly. Some people can. Or you can take the 10 minute video and cut it down to 25 or 50% speed, right? You got some options. Yep. yep. Totally. This is the one that sucks because I shouldn't have mounted this straight up and down because this, the scan head connector like juts out. You know, I'm and last gonna... time I just kind of like press fit it back together and it went okay, but this time it's being a little stubborn. So time to to get swifty. Yeah, not really. I'm just gonna just keep. I've I've developed an immense sense of patience at this point. <laughs> I'll just slowly work this back in to where it came from. And then, yeah, I'm going to start the UV config next. Yeah, sounds good. I'm that glad go you got cool. to see at least a little bit of this because it was like you were here when we started. Yeah. Come on. It, to be fair to Mactron, this is my fault. <laughs> That it's not closing, not theirs, because I was an idiot about how I put the easy cad board in here. So there we go. Tighten this up before it falls apart. The the review will will uh, dictate its stock state. Yeah, which I'll actually get to do now because I'll want to use it. So well. Not just that, but now it's in its. It'll be in its final form. Mm -hmm. Yep, with uh, it's hard with to... hacked wall power supply and completely different controller than it shipped with. Like people have asked me why I didn't do the review on my my CO two yet, my blue poo. Yeah, it's hard to do a review on something when it doesn't. It, it seems incomplete. Or just doesn't Bro, that, work the way you want it to because of something you can change. I can't you believe you're actually going to review that still and not just throw it in the garbage where it belongs. Oh, no. It's getting reviewed. I know. You wouldn't let it slide without a red. The people that sold you that laser are like long out of business. No, they're not. They're one of the... Oh, really? They're a massive exporter in China. Are you going to call them out in the review? Yes. Oh, my God. Miranda will love that. Oh, it is what it is. It's all truthful. 
Yeah, no, I have freaking screenshot proof that they ghosted me three times. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just, you know, saying good luck. Where when you did, go, right, when you go with the for... cheapest possible machine, even if it's to get you into the hobby, and I went into this knowing this, you need to understand that sometimes you're accepting the fact that you're going to be on your own if something goes wrong. It just mm -hmm. so happened a lot of things went wrong. Why aren't you lining up? Will says, how hard and what lenses to do a wall-sized image, you think? Uh, a wall-sized image? Well, first off, we're going to run out of wattage before you get to a lens that's big enough to cover a wall. So, like, what do you have, like, an eczema laser? <laughs> I think the biggest one I've seen is a 400 or a 5. Four. Maybe. Yeah, for, for lenses for this general use case, unless you go up to like very specialized lenses, uh, which are, by the way, designed for very specialized heads, you're big. You're capping out at four hundred, pretty much. Yeah, go to Coherence website and look up like their Eximer systems. <laughs> They're like the size of a room. Um, CO two Galvos do pretty big stuff like they do the jeans you know they project those across like half a room with you'll like get a, a 500 or 600 millimeter lens uh that's how levi distresses well, you, jeans when you they do hang them sorry go ahead no it's okay i was just saying they hang them and uh and blast them from across a room essentially with a co2 laser so yeah. it's like it exists but it's that's like super specialized and it's got to be crazy expensive uh usually they use 100 watt glass tubes for that kind mm. of stuff mm. or uh or even maybe even bigger 130 150 watt glass tubes because they're not turning the beam on and off they're literally leaving it and marking big gaps with flood fill essentially yeah um but the the other thing that they're doing is they're usually utilizing a 30 or a 50, 40 millimeter head Mm -hmm. Um, and with those, you can get five, six, 800 millimeter lenses for, uh, pretty much 20 millimeter head or 10 millimeter head. You're capping out at 400. Usually Vince says you could mount a large gantry on the wall, which I mean, that's fair. You could yeah. do that. And yeah. then uh, you just need, I think the big problem you'd have with like that kind of a system would be getting motors that can handle fighting gravity going up, you know, that aren't going to like just drop when you are going down. I feel like that would really affect things. Yeah. But I'm sure there's a workaround for that that I don't understand or yeah. know about. You could go the, the Trotec route if you have a hundred grand laying around and uh, mount your Galvo to an XY table um, mm. and mark one side and pull the other side off and swap it. And just keep the thing going all the time. But then you're risking hitting yourself with a Galvo head that's marking actively. That's not fun. And a CO2 will absolutely burn the crap out of you. Imagine, like, charging, like, what you would charge a client to show up at their house and install a gantry laser on their wall just to laser engrave some art and then take it all apart and leave. I mean, you can do that with like a uh, diode with really strong steppers that can hold the head in lock position. Yeah. Still, it's just like the setup alone. Yeah. You're miserable. Yeah. I'd rather just engrave it panel by panel if I was going to do a whole wall. Mm -hmm. I'd break the artwork up into a workspace size, cut the panels to size, and run panel by panel. Then mount them after the fact. Probably wouldn't take a job like that. It just sounds d distressing to me. Eh. You have to pay me a lot of money. I got $5 in a jawbreaker. And that's not <laughs> enough. Anthony I says, I saw a Facebook commercial for that very business, lol. That's nuts. Oops, 
Oh, I guess my camera died while I was gone. Whoops. Philly Matthew. Yeah, that's about right. Kyler, are, are you on ATEM duty? No, I've got to step no, away. Kyle's right? barely here. Woo! I legitimately can only pop in for a couple minutes at a time. Well, it's better than pooping in. Hey, oh, that is hey. true. That is true. It's got the poop jokes. All right, just gotta, <laughs> just gotta, you know, pinch me out of the way sometimes. I'd say you're pushing it, but uh, <laughs> you know, just just pinch him off. It's a stinky situation. Hey yo! All right, All right. I kind of text. you. Need your connector put back on. This one is not going to be filled with hot glue. Uh, it's, it's good, Laura. We're having uh, the oven has decided to act up. So we've now employed the grill and the oven and the stovetop. It's chaos, but it's working. By the way, uh, Laura texted, messaged me, and said that you guys got it working. We did. Oh yeah, dude! It's it's, it's cranking. He's uh, he's back in like put it back to uh, like visually appealing mode. Vundiva. He's he's putting it all back together. It's it's getting tucked in. Just a little nip tuck. That's all he needed. A little nip tuck. Is it not a show? Uh, yes. Pretty sure it, uh, it 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 got cut many years ago. Sounds right. Get it? Because it was a show about plastic surgery. Yep. Got cut. You had to stitch it together like that, though? Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, that's how it goes. Laura said she messaged you right after it happened. Hey, nice. Thank you for keeping me updated, Lara. 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 What time did she message me? Let's see. 4.30. Oh, man, I missed it by like 20 minutes. Like when it that. comes to medical shows, I, I watch House. <coughs> I tried not to watch any personally. Yeah, yeah. Me too. they give me anxiety. Oh, you too. Yeah. I didn't used to, but in the last like four years, I've I've got <sighs> yeah nah, they, sometimes. But I remember one time I saw one of the episodes where like the guy like I watched House like maybe five times, right? Like I just catch it when it was on, kind of a thing. And you know I use neti pots because my sinuses hate me. And in one of the episodes, a dude like they're like. There's some guy whose like brain was like basically exploding from the inside out, and they're like, "We've only got 36 hours to save him," and it ended up that he had used like tap water from a neti for his neti pot. Oh, that's rule just, number one: you don't do that. I know. Get a, amoeba. He got yeah. He got like some kind of an amoeba thing or like something. One of those like that. brain eating things that Florida's got. Yeah, uh, I actually <laughs> my parents' neighbor they actually uh, run a um, a fund like a. 4013 or whatever the 401c3 or whatever um, nonprofit yeah because their son he passed away from that so it's it's very real down here people don't think about it he was uh doing like what was it water skiing on a lake and uh he was like 10 years old man and then the next yeah, day it was just gone 24 I'm hours good. i don't mess that's why i don't like sw i don't swim at all <laughs> there's nowhere i want to swim I, my options are in a lake full of amoeba in the ocean full of fucking sharks and jellyfish and unknown horrors of the deep or in pools filled potato with fish, pits. bro. I'm good. I thought you didn't I'm... swim because your skin is so fucking white that the lifeguards were like, we can't see you against the bottom of the pool, so please, sir, don't swim. They're like, what is that, a beluga whale? <laughs> I, he's I hear they have sonar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, he's trying to breathe out air bubbles. You <laughs> see Alex ripping him underwater. <laughs> That beluga whale needs to shave. What, what a scruffy looking shit that is. Shit. Oh, He's just adjusting eaten. his ballast, Matt. Yeah, something like that. 
We got a ballast. <laughs> I got your ballast right here. Get your ballast All right, I need right food. Here. Need to find something in this house. Down you go. Back in your hole. Ooh. Ooh. Anthony said you would think brain eating amoeba is starve in Florida. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. It's funny because it's Florida. It's funny because it's true. Speaking of which, I do have to step away again. By the way, if if you enjoy Kyle leaving us and uh, making us feel sad, go ahead and smash that like button. (laughs) Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That sounded expensive. It wasn't. It was just screws, but still Uh, something else. It's just unfortunate. (laughs) Way to screw it up. Ah. Oh, Kyle, don't go. (laughs) <laughs> Alice is like unfortunately there won't be silence there will just be sadness and Matt <laughs> this is why people don't like me uh, because you're horrible I don't know I mean like 50-50 oh boy Vince said the full episode won't be as good as this was yeah I saw that <laughs> he also sometimes said he stuff just has to get cut. To he also make, said he leave. Out to you for a second. Oh, that's great. Vince definitely that's, doubted me for that's the, many that's seconds. The benefit of, of the live crew, though, like you, you get to see all the good stuff. The downside of the the live streams turned video is that you you miss out on those, you know. Those hidden jokes that you were there to witness. Some people are going to just never know what we're talking about when it comes to our little jokies. Like Vince's It's between life. us. It's like a little, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, hey, oh. Zing. Hey. hey. <laughs> it's funny because he's not. He's Vinny. Hey. He's Vinny. Hey. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. I thought Laura, Laura said this is a very good show. It's fine. I'm not sure when I left. We started like playing out backyard and then the boys came out and we were playing soccer. And I was like, Yee-hoo! like watching a fat guy run. So why are you unsure? That sounds like a good reason to have left. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Your kids good. are making sure you're getting your exercise for the day. I mean, yeah, I stand there and just kick the ball really hard at them. <laughs> if by exercise you mean parental guilt, then yes. Yeah, when literally. When out into the road, do you get it for them? No, we don't play in the front yard. My God, you'd be eaten by an alligator or taken away by a method. Florida you things. Oh, yeah, only where there's a fence. Oh, it's like the it's like Mark- the key and peel with the with the van full of kids. <laughs> He's like, I have two more dollars. Laura, Laura said yeah. Alex should cheer up. This is Alex happy. This is yeah, this what is, are you talking bro. about? <laughs> Alex is pumped is, right now. <clears throat> You've this seen Alex not in a good mood. mood. Yeah, this is as good as my mood gets, Laura. This is the this is the peak. Welcome. I'm I'm pretty sure if Alex won the Powerball, Alex smile at the camera. That that's about Ugh. as good as it gets. That's terrifying. <laughs> Like, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Edward Scissorhands, where Edward Scissorhands learns to smile, it's like that. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like a hideous train wreck that you can't stop watching, and that's why Laser Everything is a good YouTube channel. Hey, it's, guys, welcome people, back. To, welcome back. People to don't come everything. for the education. They come for the shock value. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what was the shock value today? Ten ohms. <laughs> well, Alex <laughs> smiled. Ah. Oh! All right, guys, on today's Sunday Mill Jewel. Five three amps. <laughs> Today only is everything. Kyle said he was leaving and then never left. It's oh, literally no, I'm, Kyle I'm and I are the same person. He's trying to find a way not to have to go back upstairs. Stop reading my You mind. could just say, fuck you, I'm a grown-ass 30-year-old man and I don't want to participate in this. 33. Whatever. 
<laughs> whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Uh, <sighs> a whole ten percent of my life difference, man. <sighs> Laura said, "This is truly the best channel. I've tried other, uh, but they are boring and dry. No, we are the dark meat of the laser world. <laughs> We're thick and juicy." And Yule says, "More voltage to adjust the smell muscles." <laughs> I have so many extra screws. Why do I have all of these screws? Uh, they were, they were optional, Alex. Through. That's why. Eh, I know. Actually, they were probably what was mounting the EasyCAD three board to be to the daughter board. Or eh, true, true, true. Yeah, I mean that's probably <laughs> it, to be honest. The the mounting screws for that and mounting it together. Yeah, I also have to remount the plate to the CO two galvo. That too. Which I don't want to do. But here we go. Oh man, you gotta <clears throat> do it. rip my test wires off of oh, this board. Oh god, don't damage the board. I did. I'm not just, leaving them in there. I just got an email saying that the MetaQuest 2 is fifty dollars off. And I could get one. I don't even want one, but now I do. Just saying. Completely off topic. I know. Don't do it. It's a waste. Oh, well, there goes my sadness. Uh, your happiness. You save money. Oh, no. All right, so you just packing up, cleaning up? Just putting the lasers back together. I have to remount the um, easy CAD board back into the CO2 Galvo. I don't want to leave it half built over here. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then we like it when things work. I was going to try to do a, uh, uh, like a Galvo lens for the UV just to have something set up. Oh my God. Andrew says, I have the quest too. I like it. See Kyle. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, All right. I got to run. I'll see you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though, it uh, works, though, and I'm amped about it. It's definitely sketchy for a minute there at best. Wait, 2024. What are those? Oh, my God. I can do those. <coughs> Excuse me. Just, like, choking on air down here. Hmm. Here we see a wild Alex pondering what it is that's in his hand. I just, like... I swear I had one of these that fit earlier, but I guess I don't now. That's fine. Oh. Oh, that one doesn't fit either. Interesting. Well, maybe it was the precision screwdriver kit. Oh my god, stupid Florida! Remember when Vince was like, he won't have it soldered in 30 minutes, and then I had the whole thing done in 30 minutes? I mean, I guess so. Is that my, is that my celebratory beep? What was that? Yeah, no, that's uh, I'm trying to see if my air conditioning is working correctly because this room is usually, even when it's like 95 degrees outside, this room is usually like 60 degrees, and where I'm at right now is 74, which is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you kidding me? Too big. Hey, that one fits great. All right.
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, not a smoke alarm. I could make it seem like the smoke alarm. <laughs> no. That's my little, uh, what do you call it? My little thermal gun. Let's see. So that's reading 80 degrees. Mm. Yeah, so this is where I like I shine it at where my attic is. Like there's like a little hole in the ceiling for where the attic is. I and it's, can't it's see. What, are you showing me? Showing no. Me oh, it's just a little. It's like an IR. The yeah, the little room. IR thing. So that's why this garage is always so hot when I'm out here. Is like the garage door is only 83 degrees. The ceiling mm. above me is and this is what i was trying to explain to my wife it's 96 degrees inside the attic and it's only 80 mm. degrees here mm -hmm. or 80 yeah it's 80. well heat rises that's uh, yeah 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 pretty common knowledge there bub freaking freaking hotness here all i know is i gotta get that fixed and make sure it's working before it gets hotter because the reason I always keep it like in the 60s in this thing is like I turn on the exhaust and basically mm -hmm. I have to be able to dump more in than I'm dumping out, you know? Well, that's why I recommended to you and you scoffed at me when I recommended this to generate an air intake that will pull hot air from outside to feed your exhaust system. That way you're not exhausting your air. I never scoffed. Air. I just made a noise because I didn't know what that means. So, you know, it's the it's just a reverse exhaust. Put another hole in your wall or ceiling and put a fan that sucks air from outside and blows it into your machine. Oh, I, what I want to do is just take uh, the four inch that I have. What I want to get is a six inch inline for the Galvos. And I want to take the four inch that's in here and I want to put it in my attic and just have it exhaust. Like when it hits a certain temperature, just exhaust out of stack. Well, yeah, but you see where all your cold air is going right now, right? You're sucking the cold air through the machine and then blowing it outside while you're exhausting. So if you blow hot air into your machine from outside, then you're not going to be sucking the cold air from inside of the room and then wasting it. Because right now you're taking all the air that you've already cooled down and you're blowing it outside. It's true. That's what you said last. This is exactly what you did last time. You were just like, whatever. It's not. It's whatever. I'm just like, man. I need pictures, man. I'm dumb. I'm an alternative learner. No, I can't really give you pictures at the moment. I'm like hunched over under my desk. Listen, if you could just stop what you're working on and focus on me, that'd be great. I'm not gonna <laughs> do that. Anthony said, I used to stream me and my buddies playing The Division, and you could hear my smoke alarm on my 13-foot ceiling beeping every two minutes because I didn't have a ladder tall enough to change it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's pretty funny. Yeah, this is a Division hoodie. I made it myself. Printed it on a DTG. Mm -hmm. All right. And the skin head connector. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to buy what are those called? Like the when you get like the direct to film prints. Yeah, GTF. I forgot what they're called. There's like a name for it, but I'm like I just want to buy those. Mm hmm And then make my own shirts. I need to get a heat press like, though. Buy the prints ready to go. Yeah, yeah. They have them. Like there's people who have the machines and like yeah. Instead of trying to make the films. shirts, yeah, they, they, you yeah. literally just order them in a roll, and you mm -hmm. so like so if I wanted, and you know, like you, they they nest them into the roll, and it's like for eighty bucks you get you know so many. So if you were just doing like uh, shirts and you just wanted the left breast or whatever, like a little three inch by whatever, three inch by two mm -hmm. inch, you just cut the thing off, take an iron and loop, and like bam, you just made a shirt for you know pennies plus the cost yeah. of the shirt. Yeah. So then <clears throat> that's how you fund yourself buying a machine for yourself. I'd just let other people print them. If I really wanted to make shirts that bad, I'd just buy the films, I think. 
Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to like. I don't really want to get a DTF machine because they're like thousands of dollars, and I just don't want to deal with printing. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. cool. oh, Ninja Ninja transfers. That's the one they do it. So the cool thing is with them, with them, they give you a sheet and they're like, you know, do it, <laughs> do it. Yeah, that sounds like the way I would go with it. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, Laura said, yep, I use DTF all the time and have a heat press from Geonite. That's where my compressor is connected to. Huh. DTF transfers. Oh, a gang sheet. That's what it's called. I knew there was a freaking term for it. Thanks, Internet. You win again. Oh, Lord just told me it's called a gang sheet. She's like, here you go. I'll tell you, I'll teach you more, dummy. That's what she told me. Someone's gotta do it. Right? All right, I've got the CO2 Galva back together. Would you be able to put like a DTF onto a hat? Sure. I don't know why not. It's a UV piece of fabric, yeah. just like a shirt. I'm sure it has to be like the right kind of hat, but yeah. Eh. Let's see why not. Hmm. What I need is to make like colorful designs. What? It'd be cool, like uh, so I can have some like cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Make some swag. Feels so much better, so much more productive than yesterday. Were you here at the end of the day yesterday? No, I was here for the first like four hours and I had to go. Oh, dude, I was so defeated by the end of the day. Well, yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does. All right, both walls are in, just have to screw the lid back on. Yeah, you're a beast, dude. I don't know how you go in and do this stuff. Well, I, mean, I guess you gotta. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here looking at like I gotta go cook dinner a little bit. Yeah, you just, I don't know, man. You just fucking gotta persevere. Persevere. I have, uh, what is it? The, uh, I'm surprised your headphones last this long, too. I know, yeah, they're killing it too. D determination. I'm just filled with determination. Let's see. Yeah, arthritis in my hands, this shit? Nope. I've been like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and open up my razor blade. Oh, God. <laughs> Blood everywhere. <laughs> Blood. My friends call me shakes. Like, 
<laughs> what? Beep. <laughs> like, hear my ADHD going. Last screw on the CO2 galvo. Okay, I'm almost done, guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Just plugging the power and uh, foot pedal back in for the CO2 Galvo here under the desk. <sighs> Nearly finished. Oh boy, this feels great. Operable laser. Dedicated audience. All right. Oh, all right. Dust the knees off. Catch up on chat. Let's see. Oh, it's just Laura saying it's called a game sheet. Yeah, we lost 10 people when I was putting things together and cleaning up. Sorry, it had to be done. Uh, to try to get things to be a little more entertaining here in a minute. If I don't organize the space at all, I just, I'm just gonna forget what I'm doing. So yeah, just get this crap out of here. Okay. Whew. Oh man, I'm tired. Uh, let's see, we have this plugged in, but not the other connectors back here. So I do have to do that too. Just finish plugging in this stuff to the back of the UV source. What should I make with all this scrap acrylic that I've got? A mosaic. I have like feet what? upon feet of scrap acrylic. It's like the smoky gray. You don't like my answer? What? I said a mosaic. I mean, yeah, that could work. 
cut out a hundred different like pebble sized pieces. I guess if it's all gray, then that's not going to help. But maybe, uh, I don't know, are they big enough for focal sticks? Some of it is, yeah. Yeah, you need a bunch of those too. Oh, good. What the hell is that? Was it an airplane? Yeah. We have, uh, we live next to like three airports. And so basically like there's an air show going on this week. Oh my God. Blue angels are here and they just fly over our house all the time. Love that. 10 out of 10. All right. This is the ground screw. This is the last screw. Yeah, like there's like a DC-10, like the giant ones. There's C-130s all over our house all the time. There's – oh, Miranda's back. Okay. Laura said I should get stuff that's easy for Mondays. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Mondays are taken care of. I always forget about Sunday for dinner. Once my daughter's old enough and my boys are old enough, I want to teach them how to cook. Oh, all right, guys. Woo! That's it. We did it. She's back together. She works. We can give it one more test here, and then we'll delete the current light burn config and uh, and try to actually make one for... Only four more hours to go, guys. Let's do this. Real lens. No. We'll take four hours. A couple, maybe. Not four. Welcome to day two of the live stream. <laughs> I think this is day four, right? Oh, no, I'm talking about like nonstop coverage of you just being hammering oh. Coca-Colas. <laughs> I, I, I literally never leave. Hey, guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, in a few hours, they're going to go ahead and bathe me because I've been changed to this table for six days. Oh, Miranda. There she is. I fixed the UV, babe. He did. Huzzah. Huzzah. With yeah, my expert's crazy. guidance, he was able to make sure that everything worked. Yes, it was all thanks to Matt. Indeed. I left and see that what happened, Miranda, in case you want to know, is I said, you've got this, Alex. Believe in yourself. And I went out to play with the kids, and he did. So you're welcome, Alex. Thank you. It also might have been my annoying voice not in your head for an hour, but let you do that. I mean, whatever. Either way. 50-50. Either way, it's all me, you know. Either way. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Did you know I was reading the manual for my Ingu source, and it actually calls for two minutes of warm-up time before you start using it? Uh, I would believe that because on the CO2 at least – like mine takes like a good 30 seconds before it's ready to really do work. Yeah. Like I've actually been doing a job before and the first like 10 seconds of it sends out this weak garbage and then it just starts blasting it like Frank. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, have you ever read the manual for your seal source? No, it's in Chinese. Mm. <laughs> so I kind of stopped there. Let me see if I can log into StreamYard from this computer, because now I feel like you guys actually will care about what's on the screen. All right, so apparently split units have air filters. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I texted the guy who I uh, paid to come work here the other day on this thing. And he's like, when's the last time you cleaned the filter? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know that it has that. 
That was gross. That's like two years worth of air conditioning built in a day. <laughs> Nar. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, we basically did the same thing today. You stripped and took apart the <laughs> UV laser. I cleaned the filters on my AC. <coughs> really crushing it here. I would definitely say those are the same. I mean, on a scale, probably a little harder in my side, but you know. Trying to keep up, dude. Not too long for me. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, how can I take a picture? Let's see if Mid Journey will do this for me. Add colors to this thing. Kyle's back. Maybe. Nope, that's me. I heard a boop. It's me. Oh, just kidding then. All right, light burn. Hey, yo. Okay, what should we test? I feel like if you're working on that piece of wood, the 110 is going to be your best. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be that piece of wood, but. Oh, <clears throat> my God. Is there everything? Let's see. Either way, with three watts, 110 is still probably a best fit. RFS. This is a good one. I'm literally working on that gang sheet that you were talking about a minute ago. I think we'll do some glass because why not? What's like the typical size for like the a breast thing, like the left breast sticker dealy? Like two and a half by two and a half, maybe a little bit larger. Yeah. The problem is, I need this to be clear though. Like a clear black background. I swear to God, I had one of those somewhere. It's probably going to be deformed, but I just want to see the UV that we worked so hard to fix do something UV -E, and then we'll start working on our profile for it. Oh, it reminds me, I don't even really know where the focal distance is, but I suppose the glass will help us find it. To get you guys a view of that too. I'm working on it. I think I'll just grab the 75. Yeah. How's your battery doing? How you doing? I say I could show people a little lens action here. In case you guys wonder where Alex keeps his lenses. Look at that. Oof. My goodness. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see it. Hold on. Here we go. Boom. Look at those lenses. Left breast logo, three to four inches. Thank you, Laura. I knew you'd know. 
I knew you Four know. inches. Well, Seems for big. some people, like, I don't know. Look at those cool lenses. Okay, so. Whoa, that just, like, gripped and wouldn't let go. That's what she said? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Why is it doing that stupid joystick? That's also what she said. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, if you move your cart like six inches to the left, I've got a pretty good shot of the, the XA75, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but look at my shot. Even better, what? Okay, fine. I'll move the car. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're good. You're good. It's good. All right, we're, we got the XA up right now. Bam. I right, move the car. Ba -da 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 -da. Ready? M1. Boom. Look at that. Two good shots. Two good shots. Go back to the other one. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> That is a stretch, but I can do that. All right. So, let's see. I hate the how in the layer preview, Lightburn still gives you a power value as, like, part of the preview. Drives me nuts. I need safety glasses. Are you doing that piece of glass? Yeah. You gonna lift it up so it doesn't burn the bed? No. All right. I could put it on. Uh, if you have two fences, you could just literally lift it up on two fences. This is what I've been using to protect beds lately. Oh yeah, there you go, Butamus. Not that that bed isn't already murked because yeah. Is what you gonna do? I don't know. Nothing. I have no idea if we're in focus either. Probably not. All right, let's start it. Oh, do you have a focal stick? Not yet. Oh, shit, almost tripped. All Got right, your let's glasses on, right? Talking. Yes, sir. Noise. All right, I'm yeah, glad that so. we did this. Looks good, we're in. I don't love the glass dust. The exhaust on. I was gonna say, do you have it? You're making fiberglass, bro. <laughs> what do you expect? Let's stop this and rerun it. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know where my phone is. Miranda said to please check your messages. Oh man, it's so nice this works again. Ooh, that does look nice and crisp. Is there any way you can get the... Uh... Well, no, whatever. XA is looking pretty good. Trying to show people a couple different angles, too. Yeah, go back to the other one. The other one looks good. Yeah. That one, you can really see how white it is. Yeah, that's what I was looking at in the preview. We should put this under the uh, the stereo. Yeah, to show people, that'd be cool. I don't think I've ever looked at glass under a stereo microscope before. 
see if I can get zoomed in a little bit tighter. Auto focus doesn't like that. Let's see if we can manually focus it a little better. Oh yeah, look at that. Butamus. Hopefully you're recording this on ODS. Oh uh, yes. No, but it'll be on the stream. Brandis said, I definitely said, please, thank you for conveying that kindness, Matt. Nice. Da -da -da -da. Looking good, looking good. Laura's impressed by the amount of detail. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom in so you guys can, like, really see it. But I don't want to push it too much because it looks pretty good. Oh my god, you keep touching it. It does, I do. Well, it's because I want it to go. Yeah, this is a great view. You know what? That is. Boom. I just want to see what that uh, like ablation pattern looks like under the microscope. That's going to be super cool. What I think would be neat to do is to do a one pass where you use the frosted settings. And then yeah. do it with a with a cross hatch, like you're doing now, and like see does it really? What's the difference as far as like? I mean, it's definitely shaving another layer of glass off, so it's giving it a little more depth, if nothing else. Well, and that's what I mean. Like, I think it'd be cool to kind of like see. I wish you could like cut the glass in half nicely. <laughs> it also kind of looks like less white. It's got kind of like a more translucent look to it. Yeah, I think. mine. I don't run a by. I run bi-directional, but I don't run it cross hatch. I mean, I because can just stop. I guess stop it now. No, just no, stop don't it right stop. Now. It's already we almost can, done. Now, don't do it. I know, but we can look at both halves. For That's science. Weird. All right, hold it up to the XA when you get a minute, or it when looks, it's ready. It definitely looks the same now. To the XA. Yeah. Tell me, uh, let's well, see. It's up there. I don't think they can see it. No, well, I'm switching it over. Oh, we can see that. Nice. Woo. Yeah, buddy. That looks so good. Holy crap. Now let's take a look at it under the microscope. That's what I want to see. All right, let's see. I know how to find this. It's the one that's all white. Oh, it's not on. The battery's dead. Hold on. I'll go get another battery for the Holly Land. There you go. All right. Well, I'm showing people you at the microscope. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. That's cool. It's a vector, so you can't really see any of the detail, but. All right. Just so you guys know, we're going to switch over. So this is Alex over at the microscope desk, and we're going to switch over once he gets it in, in a nice shot. We'll switch over to what he's seeing on the monitor. I mean, it should be pretty good right there. If you wanna okay, here we go. Over. Going over to the monitor. Look at that. How Look nice. Look at that, dude. Yeah. Oof. Those are nice edges. Oh, there's the bird. 
This is my minimum zoom. Yeah, this is like where you can actually see the like table underneath like a real normal camera. Look at that. That's pretty cool, dude. All right, let's zoom in on some of these. Yeah, so if we, well, hold on. So this was definitely part of the area that got one pass. We'll just soak that up for a second. This is one pass. You can almost see the ablation lines. Yeah. Going at that 45 That's what degree I was angle there. And that one I got. Yeah. Let me straighten out this camera. All right. And then this is the area that got double blasted. Two passes. Yeah. It does look like, like cleaner. Can, yeah, it, I think it definitely helps hide some of those scan lines. Not that I'm, I'm not, I'm not aware of how much like you could actually see. There's a string from my hoodie from brushing the dust off. Uh, I'm not aware of how much you'd actually be able to see that difference with the naked eye. I mean, we definitely saw it a little bit, but. Well, I mean, I'm trying to find that thing that I made yesterday for the show, and I was gonna say yeah. we could literally look at yours versus mine. What was your uh, line distance on that? 0 0.025. 0 0.025, really? Yep. Wow, mine's at 0 0.015, really like super, super close. This is like that fat part of the S there. Yeah. See, mine actually had almost like um, I I hit mine with a melanine, like I, the Mr. Clean bar, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. And it, because I get like a... Um, not really a ghosting effect, but it's like the, the powder is so fine around the edge of it. Yeah. That it like you have to hit it with the melanin or it won't come off. Oh. That's weird. Never had that problem before. Well, I shouldn't say it won't come off. It will, but it'll just be like fuzzy looking. So I it takes like two wipes. Like literally I just go one, two, and it's done. All right, where the heck did I put it? I blame you for me not being able to find it, obviously. <laughs> Very cool. Over here, we should be able to see where the focus changed a bunch, too. Uh, let's see. Zoom Anthony out. said 0. 0.025 is huge for a UV. What lens were you just using? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I haven't set the profile up. But it looks, I mean, that's the thing about glass is that, you know, it, it shatters. It has its own heat-affected zone. I'm not... I'm not shocked that there's like no gaps here. It looks super clean to me. If we were doing something on like organics, I think we'd probably have a different case. Yeah, like right I've here at the bottom of the too, five, going, there you can see it. You can see it really well. Let me see. I've noticed that when I go from like, oh man, look at that. I've noticed when I go uh, in like a zero. Or a 90 degree pattern too, like I'd see a lot of differences. Mm -hmm. Like the scan line, like you're talking about. I have less yeah. of an issue going 90 degrees. <clears throat> For some reason, I don't know why. I just do. You can definitely see the individual lines there, but I'm not convinced raising the resolution on this would make that better. No. Uh, no, no. No, no. Definitely looks good when you're just looking at it. It's rad. I love glass, man. It's so fun. Oh, there's a piece. Very cool. It was neat. Good times. Uh, how are we doing on time? You, we are at three hours and 45 minutes. I mean, like daytime. Yeah, 545. Yeah, it's a good place to stop, man. You're... Because otherwise, you're going to be like, Oof. I guess I just really wanted to get a lens set up for the UV, but I suppose it can wait until Tuesday. Yep. Got you back on there. Hey. All right. Well, we'll do our first config the next time we get together then. Yeah, um, I'm here all day tomorrow. Oh, I won't be because I'm not driving with everybody and their mother in Rochester for the eclipse. I'm going to be staying home. So. Oh, is that this week? I don't even know. What it's that. tomorrow, bro. Um, I'll be in my garage, whatever. So if you're in the northeast or southwest, enjoy the eclipse. Uh, 
if you're not like Matt, you can suck a fat one. Basically. And uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. This was a crazy stream. We did some wild stuff today, and I am very impressed that we were able to fix the UV. Uh, special shout out to everybody who helped in chat. I learned, again, like a million new things today uh, that I had no idea about, especially when it comes to wiring and electronics. So if you were here in chat uh, providing that kind of technical support, I really appreciate you. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. And if I could have done it without you, it would have been so, so, so much worse. So um, thanks for being there for me. And uh, if you've just been here hanging out, I appreciate you too. If you haven't already, go check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. If you enjoy this kind of ch content, we get to continue to be here doing it because we have people over there that support us, uh, you know, Why am I missing so many plugs? I don't know. I feel like our outro has gotten just like shorter and shorter and shorter. Well, it's because you've been for four hours working. So, yeah, if you haven't yeah. gone to the Facebook group yet, go join us over on the Facebook group. You can join us on That's the Discord. Uh, you can head to lasereverything.net. If you're looking for any of the things that Alex used on the show, you'll probably find them on our buying guide. Um, mm -hmm. The other, <laughs> I got these now. Um, if you're not a member of the Laser Master Academy, masters.lasereverything.net right and it's the best go. place to be yeah and, and uh, said, smash don't forget the, about the plastics <laughs> smash the, yeah we'll do we'll do everything we're gonna, oh, we're yeah. gonna do all the stuff um don't forget to smash the like button on your way out guys and if you really like today's stream if you had a lot of fun leave a comment uh youtube really likes seeing comments on videos when it's deciding whether or not it wants to show them to people so leaving a comment super easy way to help us out uh let me know how you think Kyle is doing with his late Easter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here one last time. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And we will see you in the next one. The UV works. We did it. Yeah. Woo. Woo.